Hello, hello, everybody. How's it going, Doom Train? Arc Procession. Any other replayable games that I simply don't stream but do recommend? Um, games that I've played a ton of, personally, that I've really enjoyed, but I, I don't stream either anymore or haven't streamed. Um, for me, include Factorio, Stardew Valley, um, the Total War series in general. Like uh, starting with Total War Shogun too, I think was one of the one of the first really good ones. Uh, the Civilization series, Civ Four, Five, and Six are all spectacular in their own rights and very replayable. Um, yeah, and quite a few others. Get the Spire on stream here. Uh, and then to elaborate on what uh, OJPZ was asking about these these headphones with glasses, I don't find that these hurt really at all. Uh, maybe after ten to twelve hours of wearing them, I I start to have a, an annoyance, but they're super comfortable for the a full eight hour stream for me, which is exactly what I want. How's it going, XJ Phil, Legolopolis, Ivory Spade, Gap the Body Walker. Greenies7, thank you so much for the Prime sub in the nine months. Let's see, any other subs? Looks like Sergeant Brigand and XSenW both subbed with Prime. I think while well, it was offline, so thank you to both of you. Hey there, Schwarzization. Have I ever suplex a Doom train? I can't say that I have done that. Root Reducer, thanks for the Prime sub in the 20 months. Never liked you with four months, thank you. Yeah, I've heard good things about the new uh, Stardew Valley update. I'm hoping it comes to consoles soon. Might take a while, though. If you want to know how to play an instrument well, stay tuned. <laughs> I like that. How do I think Ironclad and Silent should evolve in Slay the Spire 2? Well, I think the best way for uh, Ironclad to evolve is for him to add status cards to his deck, and then you'll draw lots more cards. Silent doesn't get to evolve, though. Uh, what I would like to see from Silent in Slay the Spire 2. A little bit more cohesiveness. Seems like she's got a lot of cards that don't really have any reasonable synergies or interactions with other Silent cards. Like Riddle with Holes doesn't actually work with anything. Infinite Blades is just a little bit too weak. Oak is just a bit too weak. There's so many cards in the Silence Pool that just don't quite either have enough different ways to boost them or just don't do enough straight up. Quick Slash, another good example of that. You just There's no way to really make this card do stuff. And so... I'd like to see... more clear archetype synergy packages, you could call them. Which is not to say that you should build around these each run, but I'd like to see more cohesive theming, I guess you could call it. So that it feels easier to pick a specialization and kind of work towards that. Luminescent with 55 months of support. I'm so Cody with a prime sub and the 25 months of support. Uh, and regarding our schedule today, I did originally put Slice and Dice on the schedule yesterday. We didn't get to it. Um, I haven't decided whether I want to do Slice and Dice or FTL after the Slay the Spire today. I guess we'll kind of see how we feel when we get there. I could definitely see doing some Slice and Dice today. That does sound pretty fun.
So, yesterday we played the Seed of the Week on Defact. That almost was a victory, and uh, I'm not even mad because it was so fun. We had Thunderstrike, Strike Dummy, Necronomicon, and that was ludicrous. Just ludicrous. Not all that good, but ludicrous. We ended up dying to the heart. And then we had a silent run that couldn't get past Bronze Automaton, despite the early Toxic Egg. And that ended up perishing due to not enough damage. We went 12 turns against Bronze Automaton. Couldn't kill anything. It was no good. Lots of people lost that run due to the swap. I, I could see that. I, I don't feel like we lost due to the swap, though. I feel like we lost due to our card picks. I think part of the problem was that I took too many events in, uh, in Act 3. And not enough card rewards. It was We were only one reinforced body away from winning that fight, I think. But that's okay. It was a great time. What is the optimal moment to get an egg? Great question. As early as possible is one potential answer, but I don't think it's actually quite correct. Uh, as we saw in in uh, this failed silent run, first relic toxic egg here was actually not that good. I think you want it as something that you get maybe late act one or early act two, your third or fourth relic, after you've gotten some things that give you immediate value, like bronze scales or anchor or meat on the bone or something. But we're starting out today a new silent run here. This will be going for number two in a row. What does the Spire have for us today? Hmm. Guardian Act. I see a lot of rest sites. We could actually get a five rest site path here. Let me mark that in green. I don't think that's what I want to do necessarily, but I like it. It's cool looking. Speaking of, I owe the chat a dad joke for Cursed Wolf. Did you hear about the toddler who was arrested for refusing to take a nap? They were charged with resisting arrest. No refunds to a chat. Let's say the correct time for an egg is after you beat your act, after you can beat your act one boss. That's a, that, I think that's uh, that's a good way to phrase it, Paolini. Yeah, after you can beat your act one boss, is definitely a good time to get one. I don't really like my starting options here. Take fifteen. Actually, take fifteen for a rare colorless card could be okay if I go the green path here. But uh, let's see, are there higher elite count options that look better? Not really, huh? Hmm. I'd have to fight one of these four to get two. Yeah, maybe I do take the colorless card start, um, and then we just go for a lot of upgrades. And we accept that we trade our health for the starting bonus instead of intending to spend it in elite fights. Okay, I'm done for that. Hmm. Sadistic nature versus panache. Interesting. Both of these are zero-cost powers that Silent can make particularly good use of. Both are pretty fun. Legally not able to skip floor zero sadistic. Sadistic Nature works great with Poison and Weak cards. Silent has lots of those. Panache works with Card Spam. Silent has a bunch of ways to do that, too. Cloak and Dagger, Blade Dance, Endless Agony. And it does area damage, unlike the Sadistic Nature. Although Sadistic Nature can do area damage if we apply area debuffs. Sadistic Nature does something immediately, adding damage to Neutralize, which Panache does not do. 
So Sadistic does have the advantage of working on floors one, two, and three. That's kind of nice. I'll take the Sadistic. And I think I want to hit an early shop here. If we're going to go low elite count, high upgrade, I want to make sure I get a good card to upgrade. And I think I want to remove a strike with Guardian coming up. Although we could opt this way. We get an extra event instead of the shop. I don't think I want that. If I could take a guaranteed extra combat, that might be nice, but I think I'd rather just take the shop here. First up, two lice. Lice are nice. Or something. I think I'll take two so that I can strike one of them. The front one. Kill it with a strike next turn. That way if they both attack again, which is fairly likely, yeah, we can kill this one. Huh. In there, sadistic. Good work. Alright, well, these don't work with sadistic nature. I guess slice is fine, especially if I want to remove a strike. Let's go and jam jam. Take a slice. Oh, and I can heal 22 here. Get all my health back. That might be nice. Although, if I still want to go on the current path, maybe we can get away with 5 max health for later in the run. I think we're already fine for the act. Let's take five max health for later. Lots of unspent energy here, huh? I want some card draw already. Hmm, we could have considered taking the relic there. That's true. With the shop upcoming, we could remove the curse. Should have taken Panache. Should have taken Panache. Take a blade dance here. All right, shop, what do you got? We have uh, blade dance strength potions already starting to answer the first elite, at least. Where's that in Venom? Uh, well, there's an accuracy. I guess. I really sad. I'm really sad about it in Venom, or uh, about Panache. We could take Blind here to go with Sadistic Nature, but I think I want to take this Accuracy, given that we took the Blade Dance. Surely we'll find it in Venom. We could even upgrade the Blind and then have an AOE um, debuff effect. That's kind of cool. Are shiv decks actually any decent? Oh, they can be. They sure can be. There's a debuff. It's up against Backflip and Calc Gamble. I think we still take the debuff card. Not strong enough to take this elite, am I? Hmm, I don't think so. Not if we draw accuracy on the bottom. I think I'd rather just take a whole bunch of upgrades. Did we finish the 20 streak on Clad? No, our best was 11 out of all our attempts so far. But we'll be back. Ooh, here we go. Here's a decent fight. Anger the Mushrooms. To get a mini relic, you could call it. Terrifying. Very terrifying. 
hopefully I get Piercing Whale here. Nope, we get absolutely hosed. Okay. Spooky. Very spooky. Let's see. 12, 15. Strength Potion kills one. Saves me 12 health here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Pen Pen, thanks for the 41 months of support. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that was uh, definitely a little tougher than anticipated. Wasn't expecting they would all buff on turn one, but we get the odd mushroom, making us take less damage when invulnerable. We get an attack potion, meaning we can make a new... <laughs> we can make a new... Uh, attack card, and we get offered another accuracy. You know what? I'm just going to lean into it. Screw it. So yeah, we had to use the potion before the elite, but we got a new potion, and uh, I'd say that was worth it. Totally worth it. Rest. I don't have that many good upgrades at the moment. I could upgrade the accuracies, but... Not actually sure I want to. Let's rest one time. Should have should have eaten the donut, but didn't know the nerds were gonna hit us so hard. It's all good. I think I want to use the attack potion on the turn that we draw Blade Dance because of uh, Finisher being a possibility. also get dash or something. Let me just verify this isn't a kill already, right? We have 12 times 4. That's pretty good, but not enough. What do you got? Eviscerate, I think, means we do have enough. Oh, yeah. See you later, Nob. Good fight. Get a question card, and here we go. Debuffs galore, with Crippling Cloud in particular being two debuffs to every enemy. That's what I want. It's 14 damage to all, in addition to the debuffs, of course. Lord Snow with 29 months of support. My kingdom burning venom. Also, ow. Glad I rested. Didn't need it for the knob, but I did need it for this fight, apparently. Well, now you die. Almost. Ah. Yes. The great upgrade. Pyramid, please. And... True, Crippling Cloud sometimes will get before Sadistic Nature like we did here, and that can be a little bit bad. It's true. Uh, you curl up 11 and I'm weak. Can I kill you? This does 12. Yeah, I can kill you. I don't want to take one. There's no need for that. I'm 
Still wishing we took Panache, though, gonna be honest. These question cards should make it easier for us to find more Shiv cards. I think I'll just add an escape plan here. Draw one if it's a skill, gain three block. Works well if we do find some card spam stuff. You know what, I will upgrade this accuracy. Or if we find some dexterity, the, uh, the thingy will be good. Looks like transforming Guardian here is not a problem, because Blade Dance does 50 plus damage every time we see it. We have well-aid plans for this fight. I think it'll be pretty easy. And if I need help, we can use the Blessing of the Forge to upgrade some blocks or something. But I don't think we'll have that problem for the most part. Piercing Whale to fend full block now, take a bit next turn, or what? I think so. Poison deck, but also Shiv deck, but also Fumes deck. That's right. It's a damage deck, is what it is. GG. Only lost a little bit of health to Guardian. There's the Envenom. Up against Alchemize and Wraith Form. Seems awesome, though. I mean, that Wraith Form might be better, I'm going to be honest. But Envenom does seem hilarious. We pick all four. <laughs> Can you put a price on content? I'll take Invenom. I'll take Invenom. We'll do it. We're building a uh, we're building a de defensive plan. Calling Bell, Calling Bell Omamori. Interesting. Where I can take more energy with a real downside. No resting. A little scary at the moment, honestly. Though it would be kind of nice. No potions. Definitely scary. So what if it's Bell? Let's try the bell. Let's see what happens. We might get uh, energy in a more indirect form, you know, a mummified hand or a nunchaku or something. No curse for me. We get happy flower, panograph, tough bandages. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Those are really good relics overall. We got energy. We got healing. We got block. Although not much block until we find a calc gamble. How's it going, Roak the Horse? What kind of builds do I do in Elden Ring? I like melee-oriented builds. Two-handed weapon, no shield. Medium armor. That kind of stuff. I think when I stream the, the DLC later this year, we'll do a, a quality build. Strength Index. Some kind of two-handed weapon.
Is this the Jack of All Trades silent build? Yeah, kind of. Definitely kind of. I think this path is good. And we have option for elites, but we don't have to. Optionality. All right, but then we get a turn one like this, and it's like, what do you do? So we go accuracy, blade dance, defend, probably. That's pretty good damage already. Maybe should have checked if there was actually a kill with the torch pot on turn one. I don't think so. It might have been. We might have been. Did I willingly pick in Venom? I did. Wouldn't say I was forced to by chat. Hmm. Terror is actually not bad. Terror is pretty good. I'm eyeing distraction plus here because it says zero cost. And we need more zero cost cards. Really eyeing this distraction plus. <laughs> I don't usually ever consider this card. But it has potential here. If only we'd taken the panache. Here is a really good upgrade, though. Not, well, all right, let's let's take the green card. Free upgrade is a free upgrade, and the distraction could be a terror. All right, there's only one whiff here. Come on, that's not it. Actually, we have a memory for this. I'll, I'll take your, your nothing. Thanks, Gremlin. The stab was the whip, to be clear. Big Richie, thanks for the prime sub and the six months of support. Would I buy a lantern here? Yes. Definitely. I'd have to liquid memories in this fight. Oh, boy. Twenty six, huh? Right, distraction. What do you got? Burst. Wait a minute. It's still not enough, huh? By burst, crippling cloud. We do twenty eight direct damage plus eight poison. That's not enough. By forge pot, we do get the kill though, right? Because then it's fourteen plus twenty eight. That does. That's forty two. So I can use either potion here, and I think I'd rather use the Forge Potion than the Liquid Memories. So let's Forge Pot. Meh. Almost to the shop. The bandages go. Not a great turn one, actually. We might get uh, bonked here. Ouch. I could liquid memories to save 11 here. My first... Would like to fight this elite. Any important upgrades? And Venom is pretty important.
Uh, I regret my choice so bad. Rig. Terrible. here, huh? We'll be healed. No, we have to. Should have just used it earlier. Damn it. <clears throat> I think we're not long for this world based on our performance in these fights, but we'll see. We have pretty good relics that could keep us in the game for a while. I'll take Cloak and Dagger. We have two accuracies. I'll take a Cloak and Dagger. Although that expertise was a little tempting. Uh, do I buy the Blade Dance or the Kunai? It can't be both. Kunai, huh? Kunai definitely... Well, it's okay at the moment. It's actually not that good until we get more shivs. Given the shivs are staring us in the face, I'm a little tempted by that. So we could do something like Blade Dance Footwork Remove, but... I'm going to trust in Kunai here. We're just going to grab it. And then I will rest. Means I'm probably not fighting this first Elite. Nice. And to think they doubted distraction. Bell advance the relic count for the shop? No. Not quite sure what that is asking, but no. Not for the shop. And I guess we do in Venom? The Crab Lord, thanks for the 34 months. That's right, shops pull from the bottom of the list. That is correct. Okay, let's kill this one then. the days. <laughs> God. Why? Terrible. Just terrible. Terrible also. We're in real trouble here. Okay. Bird probably dies to AoE from here. Let's hit the Chosen. At least we got two decks. From that turn one, but then, uh, yeah. Becomes not so good.
Okay, thankfully we can block. Does thank goodness. All right, we're alive. Oops, all dazed. Hey, we got a potion. Leg sweep does a debuff. Escape plan is another zero coster. I'm gonna take the leg sweep here. I want bigger blocks and weakness for the boss coming up. Bronze automaton. Uh, let's see what we got here. Potion belt. I'll take it, but it's not immediately useful. I guess I sleep again and go into that elite fight. It feels bad to not get upgrades. Going to the shop is worthless. Let's risk it. Aha! Okay, actually. Wait a second. Now that's a turn one I like. A lot. Get the Envenom down. And the Sadistic Nature down on turn one. And then block for quite a bit. And don't get weakened? That's very promising. And then we're going to use this. Good enough. Good enough, I say. There's Blade Vance. Yeah, not a bad slaver's fight at all. Um, can I reset our happy flower at all? Maybe. Okay, yeah, we got a block potion, making up for the lost health, and a frozen egg, upgrading any powers we would see. Although bullet time is not a power. Piercing whale is pretty good. Setup plus is hilarious. I don't have enough card draw for setup to be good, though. Nice with escape plan, but... Yeah, I'll just take a piercing whale. No, no harm in having more of those. Especially if I want to fight another elite, and I think I do. I'm going to try to upgrade in Venom here. And we're going to fight the second elite. And if it goes badly, so be it. But I think we have the tools required here. And with Pantograph, we should be able to make up for potential problems. Uh, but a turn one like this could really hurt us, unfortunately. As we cannot kill any of the gremlins. We can do well Aid Plan's Crippling Club, though. And then we get attack next turn with a piercing whale in hand. That's mostly fine, actually. This block's 10. I'll just use it now. Keep this and this. It'd be a great time to draw sadistic nature. Cool. Thank you. And then rather than playing accuracy... No, wait, it's going to be Cloak and Dagger Leg Sweep. Yeah, Cloak and Dagger Leg Sweep. I kill anyone here. You need to take 10 more damage to die. Yes, you can die. It's only if I Leg Sweep you. Worth it. Okay, so we full block this. That's good. 
do stay weakened and frailed. We should be all right. Kunai? Nah. Okay, next turn's the big turn for our damage. We should be able to kill both newcomers easily here. We do get attacked, though. That party is very scary. Ouch. Take 18 here. But I think we win from here, and we have pentagraphs, so I think we're all right. At least I hope so. Think we had a kill there? I didn't think we had a kill. But I maybe should have done a bit more math to determine whether we did or not. Yeah, I probably should have done a bit more math. Merle with a 66 folk raid. Welcome to my very stupid silent run. We've got uh, sadistic nature and venom nonsense happening. It's great. It's great. Marl. Marl raid. Welcome, Marlers. Got to get through these two, and then we're at the boss. Boss sounds like it might be manageable. I'm Killjoy says, not it wouldn't have been a kill, but the third kunai didn't need to hit the minion because piercing whale proc sadistic. Okay, that's a good catch, actually. But it's good to know that we did not have uh, any way to get lethal there that I missed. Heard that actually. Yeah, I've got some really good relics this run. Tough bandages and kunai. Unfortunately, the tough bandage is not doing anything at the moment. Oh. So we don't really have any discard stuff. We could take a dagger throw plus to block for three. Not that good, but it's not bad either. Does already say plus on it. Now, I think our best upgrade before Bronze Automaton is getting an extra shiv out of Cloak and Dagger. Or we could rest. But we're going to 36 health. Hopefully that's enough. Oh no, others are saying I did have a kill. Oh, shoot. All right, well, I definitely should have looked more at that turn then. Definitely should have looked more at that turn. Big mistake on my part. Let's see if I can do this without, uh, without resting and without potions. Then Jurgen Wurgen, thanks for the prime sub and the eight months of support. First you Jurgen, then you Wurgen. Okay, two decks turn one is a good start, I hope. Seems good, anyway. We can remove a lot of artifact this turn. Do Crippling Cloud Leg Sweep. That removes all the artifact, takes five. Good enough. Or I could do Survivor to Pen take zero. No, uh, no artifact removed. 
I'll just full block, actually. Okay. Our damage powers are gone now. It's a little concerning. This deck is not very good. Okay, that helps, though. Yeah, this is uh, not going well. But my face, though. We're going to die to Bronze Atomitat again. Is it already Hyper Beam time? Oh, crap. There is. Spooky. Where's damage? Uh, the minions have it. <laughs> and we drew, we drew it all on turn one beyond that. We do live this turn, though. Got sadistic. Go. This one has Venom. Play that, too. Okay, there's damage. Oh. Not dead, though. The piercing well for next turn. Next is still going up. We finally have damage. Right. I want to keep neutralized for next turn. Let's just see if we can get a kill like right away here. No, he's neutralized right now. We got a kill. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. We did it without the uh, without the rest. Wonderful. So yes, we do in fact have damage. By the way, after image plus or an adrenaline. Honestly, malaise and corpse explosion aren't bad either. Do like that after image a whole lot, though. And a dad joke for the crowd, courtesy of Molnar. Why didn't the silent want to do anything? She was feeling too malazy. Not taking this after image. Although Adrenaline is not bad. And I'm going to take the Energy Relic here. There's some other options, but we want Energy. If only the freaking Gremlin hadn't used our Omomori, <laughs> we would have a, we'd have a free Curse Key here. But no, Mr. Wheel Gremlin had to give us a curse. Jerk. Stupid Gremlin. All right, level Midnight with the Prime Sub. Guten Tag to Guten Tag. I don't know if I need to go to this shop or not. It'd be nicer to go this way. I got discard, right? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Nice draw. This is why you're supposed to remove strikes. Right here.
Beautiful. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Is it decent? Infinite blades? I don't think it's that good, right? Who's our first boss? Time meter. Actually pretty okay against time meter. Yeah, it's even more setup. I don't know if we could afford more setup. But it is, it is constant damage, constant kunai. I don't think concentrate's very good, unfortunately. Don't know if I can't afford more setup. <laughs> we just need less strikes, really. I'm gonna skip it. is not less strike, so the slice is not terrible to lose. Let's lose slice here. We no longer need the slice. Concerning. Interesting. It's failed to draw the damage. So I cannot kill the exploder. Even with the explosive potion, I can't do it. Uh, we can probably block for close to 30, though. I think we're all right. Yeah, it's pretty good. Take a uh, seven here. If only we had taken infinite blades. Jeez. Well, that's embarrassing. Tells me this deck might not be very good. The sneaking feeling somewhere in the back of the mind. Because we've never been able to find card draw. It's part of the problem. I guess prepared is half decent, but only half here with no upgrade. With the my hands. Bummer. All right, I'm definitely removing a strike. We're pretty much dead if we don't. Four block. No, you're right. Prepared gives four block. That's so much more block. I guess master strategy is draw. That'll help. Yeah, that'll help. Give me that. Hard remove master of strategy definitely pushes this deck more in the correct direction, but is it quick enough to make a difference here against uh, these jaw worms? Potentially not. Okay. Neutralize the one I'm not going to kill. Lead dance. Kill the front one.
full block. Cool. Okay, this fight went quite well. We're even set up to maybe have uh, Happy Flower turn one. Nah. But unless I stall. Which I can do, actually. Here we go, Cloak and Dagger plus exactly the kind of card we're looking for. More shivs, more block. Excellent, excellent. I don't like that we have no potions into uh, plus strength nemesis, but what can you do? What can you do? You can die, that's what you can do. Ow. Uh, <laughs> terrible. I guess we play this for after image. Even though we lose all the damage that we need, terrible. As well. Let's go to like no health. Feels bad. Okay, health is a resource. We have a rest site next floor. We're fine. We're fine. Weekend. Keep these two. Okay, we didn't die there. We get the blue candle, an amazingly good reward. Hmm. Don't think I want a bouncing flask or a backstab or a deadly poison. Upgraded glass knife is kind of cool, though. Nah, we don't want flask. We want uh, blocks and zero cost attacks is what we want. And we want to rest course. really thought I could go this way. That's crazy. Okay, Giant Head should be a bit easier, especially with well-aid plans on turn one. It'd be much easier.
going to... If I play Survivor, I get another 15. We can do Accuracy Survivor. Yeah, we should probably do that. Keep the cloak for now. Get two here. It means I should have played Accuracy before the shivs on this turn, but it's whatever. Too bad. We're just barely managing to stay ahead of the curve here versus the giant head. Next to the power of the kunai. We have one more energy on this turn. And we actually drew kind of decently. Cool. Like we have the W here. Whew. That's fun. Wow, uh, well laid plans plus footwork plus. I'll take a footwork plus. Give me way more dexterity, please. I have a gambler's brew and the blue candle. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. Who needs a toxic egg? Not us. Art of War might have been nice. Resting. We've rested a lot in this run, but I think it's the right, right call here. All right, Nemesis, but without the stupid Frank this time. Could be a bit easier, just a bit. Piercing Whale still. And there's the big hit. That looks pretty good. We should be fine to block here. Very good. Good fight. Yeah, calipers would be very good here. If Nemesis would drop calipers, that would be much appreciated. Ninja Scroll is one dexterity on turn one. I'll take it. Um, and I think I actually do not want a terror. I want a second leg sweep. That's what I want here. I think I can deal without paying the one here. much damage, actually, and I'm healing with Pentagraph. I'd really prefer to keep these potions. We're only taking uh, 14. 
It's not that bad. Alright. Should have leg swept there. But I had the retain. It's all good though. Potion, okay. Potion slot's almost full up. Could take a dagger throw or a dodge and roll. I don't think I care enough for either of those. Can upgrade something if I want here. We actually don't have that many good upgrades. Accuracy is fine, though. Get a bit more damage in. We'll use the key uh, here. Nice. Block for a lot now. Quite enough. Take four here. Take a lot more here. A recall. Ah, garbage. Get arrested. Should have rested. We at least get a backflip game. We can get an alchemize. Some of that. Well, that. Sounds decent. We at least get a random 25 hit point heal. We can. Well, that helps too. Let's get this down to... Putting cards, huh? This way. Five more. Not too worried so far this fight, although it's getting a little bit worse. Kunai here. Healing with the Kunai is the best way for us to stay ahead of the time meter here. 15 health. Two cards next turn. It's a bit spooky. So I'll play piercing well. Once we get through the deck the first time, we should be good, assuming we can do that. It looks like we can. Let's 
get rid of all these one-time use cards. That's pretty good. Although we have Slime getting added. Let's kind of counteract the cards we're getting rid of. Love that part. Play two shivs. Two shivs is good. Keep one. Would really like to keep Piercing Whale for the split turn here. I think we can do that. Which is to say, by using Piercing Whale on the turn, Time Eater resets their strength. We can turn six temporary strength down into six permanent strength down. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. We're good, though. Well, okay, here's a really good turn. Leg Sweep Cloak and Dagger. Okay, if we don't get to play every Shiv. We won't be seeing them again. GG, Tim. Good fight. Uh, you're going to die next turn, which gives us Happy Flower turn one. Let's do that. Went better than expected, right? You thought with, you know, about nine health going into this fight, we were toast, but Pantograph delivers. Plus, we've been building the deck on purpose in a way that really sets us up for the late game. Part of our struggles so far have been that the deck has a ton of setup and is kind of slow, but that's exactly what you want to beat uh, late game bosses. So it's really not that bad. This turn one is also really good with, after, with uh, footwork on turn one. I can also kunai scale like crazy here. Let's do that. Six dexterity now. Of course, if we brick a draw, we might have to use a potion. Like this one? Like this one. I should have used that leg sweep. Might be my gambler's broom. Let's try this fifth potion first. Okay, that's better, actually. That's worse. Well, that's pretty good. A lot of dexterity here, and we're fine, we're fine. Can go alchemize defense. Would have been nice to get Welly plans a bit earlier, though. There we go. Oh, next turns are really bad. A 
Relentless. Yeah, bad. Ouch. Okay, okay. There we go, we got the shift cards back. Now we can do lots of damage to Donu. Big damage. Really big damage. Wow. the damages. We found the damage. Congrats to us. Take one more. Alright, with uh, Donu down, this should be an easy kill on Dekka now. Finally removed. Cool. All right, we're going to go to Act 4. We are missing only one potion, but we have an Alchemize, so that's not a big deal. Set up a happy flower. I guess that's probably a good idea. Really glad, glad we preserved Gambler's Brew with the... Up bandages, that's a very good potion. But you're not actually dead. Foolish! No! <laughs> Dang it. Oh well. Two thump, two thump, two thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of these debuffs? We deal 1864 and move on to the final act. True Rog with four full years. Thank you for the support. Let's have a schnooze. Don't want to upgrade anything. What did I think about the Spire 2 reveal? Very exciting news. Really happy Spire 2 is a thing we're getting. Sadistic natures here. Probably card remove escape plan. Card remove escape plan sounds fine. Escape plan's quite good. Is there ever a consideration to keep strikes in your deck with perfected strike? Yes, Dr. Mr. Punny. Punny, sometimes you should remove defends instead. Uh, but I've definitely found that going heavy on Perfected Strike, you don't want to keep all five of the basic strikes. Because it's just not good enough, usually. It just doesn't cut it. Cool. 
Not so cool. Might have to gamble his brew next turn. We'll see. It's not too bad. I wouldn't say I have to. We take some damage, but uh, it's within acceptable parameters of the pantograph currently. Though this turn could be spooky. Yeah, I can't even turn around. That's Well, I can with the Fear Potion, actually. And that'll let me Piercing Whale, too. Let's do that. Don't love it, but it'll do. Save this for next turn. This is not going great so far. Ah, there's the Gambler's Brew. Okay. There we go. like I have a kill on the spear here. Maybe if I'd use the fear potion I did. I guess I still could, right? Not like it's a good potion for the heart. Alright, we got to keep one potion. We still have alchemize and a 40% chance to get another potion. I think we've won this fight, finally. Not a clean shield and spear fight, but it might be good enough if the heart draw order isn't terrible. Get my extra energy on turn one, I guess. And ceasing top, huh? One more whale for the road. Every whale might be able to buy us some time against the hearts. Maybe we wanted uh, infinite blades. Maybe. Go. Def Let's see what we're doing here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, defend first. We've had first after image, yes. What about second after image? Um, I did that wrong. He's meant to alchemize here. I'm just gonna crippling cloud. I want the weaken? I guess I should have skipped the defend, huh? Maybe. Oh, I have an uh, odd mushroom. How nice. It's saving me 15 health on this turn. Unceasing top. Go! Ta -da! Infinite draws. Holy crap. The power. I shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have insulted the unceasing top. Twitch chat. Amazing. Wait a second, it just drew us five cards! That was an entire turn of draws. Amazing. Outstanding. Keep the accuracy for next turn. dazed here. You know, this is going pretty well so far. We got down a lot of the core powers, although notably not even footwork yet. We have not yet played footwork.
What a hand. <laughs> and this is Cinder's Bane, too. Take it. Whatever. It's fine. Oh. You're saying, well, the only reason we're not dead here, just to be clear. Art's health is going down. Mostly because of Hourglass, I believe. Pretty sure it's all Hourglass's fault. We have nine dexterity now. So defend blocks for 14. I need it to, because the heart attacks for a lot, and Beat of Death is now three. So our after image is no longer cutting it. It's looking good, though. Block the big hit, no problem. Block the multi-hit, also no problem. A car. Optimize was just a essence of steel. No biggie. Zimbot, thanks for nine months. Take that, heart. Think that. Slippers would be good here. GG, Mr. Hart. GG. The struggle bus run gets there. Run was not easy at any point, but we managed to get there. Very cool. GG. GG. Happy to show folks that one was recoverable. Yeah, Panache who? <laughs> Wraith form who? Sadistic nature and venom, that's who. Kaller Duran, thanks for the 20 gifted subs. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club, everybody. What a struggle. What a glorious struggle. GG. GG. And a new channel cutie in there. Holy moly, Twitchette. Show off some waffles. For Kaller Durin joining the list of cuties in addition to dropping the gift sub bomb. Heck yeah. You're on the list. And Ceasing Top might have genuinely saved our life there. But I would say I was lucky with the draws and the heart fights. I'd say so, yeah. We definitely could have been unlucky, right? I What could have happened is that we don't draw any weaken on turn two. Heart attacks us for... I guess it wouldn't be 67. It would be 56, I think, with Odd Mushroom. Heart attacks us for 56. And we basically get instantly killed by the big hit on turn two. I don't think we had the best draw order possible, though. So... I think there were a lot of ways this heart fight could have been won. Tough Bandages was... 168 block over the course of the run, about 8 per fight. So not very much. 
Less blocked than Anchor would have been. If only we had taken that one calculated gamble. Yeah, Power Pot was definitely huge, right? We we definitely played more than 22 cards during the hard fight. So, 22 extra block was a big deal. Is it possible to naturally get the 5 status hand in heart? Yes, yes, it is absolutely possible to just draw all 5 status cards at the same time against heart, randomly. You can sort of force this to happen if you end your turn with 0 cards in the draw pile, then it's guaranteed, but... Even if you've got, say, 50 cards in the draw pile, it is possible, although very unlikely, that you draw all five of them. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that happen to anyone, but I have seen four statuses and a strike as a draw. And that is, uh, that is a bad time. If you draw a Battle Trance with a Battle Trance, does no draw stack like Blur does? No, the no draw effect does not stack. However, the no block effect from Panic Button does stack. Pro tip, do not burst Panic Button. Don't do it. Have I done the achievements on Ascension 20? I have never done Ascension 20, Minimalist. We used to have a community member who only did Minimalist runs. Can't remember what their best uh, Minimalist High Ascension was. But no, I've never done uh, A20 Minimalist. That one's hard. Sounds like somebody who's died to Double Panic Button. <laughs> Mentality MB, thanks for the prime sub in the two months, by the way. First card cannot be status? Should Sadistic Nature be a silent card? I think so. I think it'd be a really good silent rare. If you have upgraded Burst and Panic Button plus Blur, could be okay. No, no, let me further clarify. If you Burst Panic Button, the first Panic Button gives you 30 block and two turns of no block. The second Panic Button, you have no block in effect, so it does nothing, and then you stack two more turns of no block. Do not burst panic button. You get no extra block, two extra turns of no block. You would, yeah, as uh, as Ariel SX says, you would either have to have artifacts or orange pellets apply after you play the first panic button. Which sounds really hard because you just played burst, right? So it's not the skill from the attack power skill set. You'd have to play burst, then an attack, then a power, then another attack, then another power, and then panic button. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> So you're saying there's a chance. That's right. That's right. Duplication potion is, or uh, something similar to, to double it is a, a lot more reasonable. <laughs> I love that mental image, Jedit. <laughs> panic? Panic? Which button do I press? Everybody panic. All right, Twitch chat. Next up, we're going to go for uh, number three three here on silent. I'm actually kind of shocked we won that run. Hopefully our next run's a little bit uh, easier. Before that happens, it's going to be break time. I'm going to refill the legs, stretch the water. Back in a few Twitch chat. Please don't go nowhere. BRB.
All right, Twitch chat, we are back. We are back. Thanks for hanging out. I don't think we know for sure that Defect won't be in Slay the Spire 2. Devs have shown Ironclad, Silent, and the Necro something. But I think they've said that there are going to be other characters in Slay the Spire 2. We don't know, don't know exactly what that means, but it could well be that the other two are returning or that one of the two is returning. And we have seen Claw, which might imply the existence of Defect, but it, it could be a colorless card or something. Oh, interesting. Although that would require fighting the Burning Elite afterwards. Got Colorless Card, Meow's Lament, Curse for Transform 2. This is one of the riskiest starts in the game. I don't recommend. Although with a very early shop, it's not so, so bad. But it's pretty bad. Ooh, what about actually, if I go Meow's Lament, and we get this Elite for free, maybe even do this for even better odds. And then we can fight two more. I kind of like it. Yeah, I kind of like it. I think colorless card starts not too bad either. Best lament odds on the burning elite path. No? Odds are... I mean, odds are right, sort of identical here. But at, at this point, we know how many charges we have left, so we know which way to go. And I don't really want to go through two shops. Uh, if we start here, we don't get to use it at all. Yeah, we, we go to this node and we see whether we got a fight or not. I'm, I'm down. I don't like my other starts enough to take anything other than Yao's Lament here for maybe a free elite. Silent does need a fair bit of help in Act 1, so I am not going to say no to uh, killing Jawworm for free. I'm also probably not going to say no to Sneaky Strike. 12 damage. If you've discarded a card, it's free, sort of. It's our only damage option here on the first card reward, so I'm taking it. Okay, well that's an on-sale terror. I was thinking about removing a card, but uh, Terror is much better here. Much, much better. Thank you, Mr. Merchant. Have I ever done a video about pathing? I actually haven't. I've thought about it a few times, but... It's a really hard thing to write uh, hard rules about. I think the best thing I could do is create advice about how to use the information you have to make pathing choices. But ultimately, it's so context dependent, it's really hard to write rules about. <laughs> Upgrade two to lose 20 health. I don't love that. I also don't hate that. You know what? Let's do it. Two defends. Not bad. And we do get a fight, which means if we want a free elite, we have to go in the direction of the burning elite now. Hmm, maybe we'll do that. Yeah, we're going to do that. We have the beginning of a very good deck of cards here. We just need a way to discard stuff, and we're going to slap. So we get two more card rewards for free here. Plus, we look at the shop with 80 gold. Concentrate's not what I was thinking, but I'll take the on-sale well-laid plans. Wish I could also buy a potion. And then we'll kill this elite for free. It's Gremlin Knob, which is great news, because now we don't have to fight Gremlin Knob. Gremlin Knob drops Preserved Insect, which is even better news, because now the Burning Elite is not so terrifying. Still no potion, though. And freaking well-laid plans, except I need to take the prepared. Genuinely, we have to take prepared. 
Plus, we already have a well aid plan, so who needs it? That'll activate Sneaky Strike. That'll make Eviscerate cheaper. That's good. That's what I would call pretty good. Next turn, this does 15, huh? Let's just bring you to 10. Hmm. Fair enough. All right, I think we have a very good start here. Question is, can we beat the Burning Elite? I think Lagavulin would have been a bit better, but uh, we'll take what we get. Regenerating sentries is particularly nasty because they're gonna start healing the missing health from preserved insects. And that's definitely not what we want. That means if, the regen means eviscerate doesn't kill this one this turn either. It's a bummer. Let's do this. Too bad. Uh, might as well, actually. I want to keep the option to discard something in my hand as much as possible. Yeah, all things considered, definitely a good fight. Definitely a very good fight. Gora meal ticket, healing us at shops. Um, probably next act. Our emerald key, and if we want it, a nightmare. Um, realistically, acrobatics for yet another discard card and a draw card on top. Although Nightmare is hilarious. But yeah, with Stinky Strike, Eviscerate, we're taking Acro here. And Boat Thingy, one of my favorites on the silent. Start each combat with 10 block is definitely going to help here. We could opt to go for another Elite fight, and with I think with the Preserved Insect, we probably want to. Although we do miss a rest site for that. I think it's worthwhile. Good upgrades are probably Terror and Eviscerate. Prepared. Well-laid plans are also decent. Zero cost Terror seems particularly important at the moment. Why does the Eviscerate show two cost? Uh, this thing's buggy in a few ways. Eviscerate doesn't reflect its base cost sometimes. I'm going to upgrade Terror first. Since our next elite is either Knob or Lega. And we get a remove Transformer upgrade. Okay, I'll take an extra upgrade. Give me the Eviscerate upgrade as well. 
A small, heavily upgraded deck is the perfect way to play a uh, discard silent, I think. Not a bad turn one. No uh, terror, but very good overall. Just need three. We're guaranteed to get six. In fact, we're guaranteed to get nine, right? So I can do Sneaky Strike Defend. Because I always draw Terror and Strike or Acrobatics into Terror Strike. So yeah, we play a Defend here. Get a mall bank, giving us money until we spend cash at a shop. And a glass knife is here, as well as piercing whale and prepared. Piercing whale is very good with well laid plans going into hexaghost. Glass knife is pretty spicy too. I'm gonna take this piercing whale though. Uh, given that we have the well laid plans, I really like it. Do I want two more fights or one more fight? Event, huh? I think we're good for Hexa. Take an event. Could be a shop. That would be bad. Well, actually, that would be good. Because if it's a shop, then we just get 15 health. And we can skip it. That's still pretty good. It's a relic. The Mummified Hand. Well, that was probably worth it. Now, whenever we play a power, a random other card becomes zero cost. I like it. How's it going, Ghosts are cool? Yes, I do do make an effort to uh, to work out or otherwise stay reasonably active. It's not always easy, mind you. But I think that's just life. We've had first acrobatics, yes, but uh, something, something, second acrobatics. Yes, please. Let's upgrade well aid plans. Very good. We might as well use the liquid bronze in this fight. Might as well. We're currently set up to have a really good dagger throw sneaky strike turn next turn, so let's not bother drawing here. Bottom draw it though. Okay, that's fine. Spectacular damage overall from this deck.
GG, Mr. Ghost. GG. How about an adrenaline? Just get us to the terror and the well laid plans a bit faster. Help us have a, a burstier turn one to kill more enemies. Or we could take that glass knife that we didn't take. How's it going, Vera Hook? This is our second run today. First run was a bit of a nail biter. Very fun run. I say Porter, thanks by the way for the tier one sub. Let's take Adrenaline here. And our energy option is Fusion Hammer or Sozu. Or we could take a Black Star for extra relics from Elites. We have a deck, I think, that performs relatively well on low energy. Because we have Mummy Hand, Adrenaline, and uh, discounted cards. And we have a way to heal at shops. And we have easier elites. That's a really good black star. Is there a situation apart from a better card where you don't take adrenaline? You might not want to take it if you have the Velvet Choker boss relic that limits you to six cards per turn. Or the Pocket Watch relic that rewards you for playing three or fewer cards. But that's about it. Uh, by nail biter, I mean a run that was uh, very close to losing multiple times, but managed to succeed. Adrenaline also not great with Snekawai. That's another good situation. You might not want it. But even even with all of those other relics, there there is potential for adrenaline to be good. Hmm. Let's go Black Star. Dentos. Dento Salas, thank you so much for the very generous five gifted subs. Welcome to the cozy sub club, folks. And Endurin with the prime sub in 26 months. Uh, the other thing I'll say for this situation was that Sozu is actually pretty good. We've got one very good potion in Gambler's Brew. And because we have turn one protection with Anchor, I think Sozu is actually pretty solid. Oh, that's a lot of elites. Not many upgrades if I go that way, but that's a lot of elites. Hmm... Is there one upgrade I really want? Yeah, kind of. Adren and the Acros are both pretty good. And prepared, also. Gotta do at least three leads, I think. Four might be overly ambitious. Three is smart. Maybe I start this way? We can choose with a bit more info whether to do three or four elites. If I got meat on the bone, for example, I can do four. Very few events this act, just the front loaded ones. And yeah, we'll be able to power up at the shop. At, at minimum, we remove a strike here, right? Bayo Vega, thank you so much for a gifted sub as well. Or is Quitter Talk? Six elites. Gotta be six elites, they say. Let's go Acro again. Good. I like this deck. And then no matter what gets free, we full block here. Awesome. Awesome turn one. Wow. I can't believe we just did that with no, if effectively no boss relic. Easy peasy. We're the avocado now. 
Discard heavy decks want removes more? Yes. Definitely. Definitely. The fewer cards you have, the more you can cycle back to the one really good card. In this case, the more you can play a zero cost Eviscerate on the same turn, the better. The backflip is good. Card draw is also very good. We'll take a backflip. Hey, you're not a event. I was promised events. Pretty good turn one. In fact, I could kill it right now with the explosive potion. Oh, I feel like that's necessary. It might be, actually. We're not that good on the other turns. It's going to gain, what, 35 block? Yeah, 35 block. And this is only 18, 27 damage. Be gone, fiend. Footwork? Upgraded cards are nice, but footwork? Footwork with mummy hand is a yes, please. Healing is yes, please. We've had first eviscerate, yes, but what about second eviscerate? Alternately, what about panache? Another zero cost power. That will make another card free and rewards us for playing five cards in one turn, which we can definitely do because of things like Adrenaline, Prepared. Definitely want to do Strike Remove. Can I do all of those things? Not quite. No, not quite. Let's start with Strike Remove. Other option is Pantograph, which I do kind of like. That said, Panache feels potentially required if you want to kill Gremlin Leader. I don't feel like I have a good Gremlin Leader answer. Yeah, we're just a little bit short here. Three gold short. A long line of hooded figures offer me a ritual dagger, which permanently gains power when I score a kill with it. Yes? I'm going to go with yes. This deck likes ritual dagger quite a bit. It's a very powerful attack, and it's going to help a lot against the upcoming elites, I believe. to do. Okay, okay. Think gold as well. Looking good. Dodge and roll plus when we have footwork is pretty good. Crippling Cloud plus is not bad either for two turns a week into every foe. Although we don't have a lot of energy for the Crippling Cloud. Do I take a grand finale here? Maybe. Do I fight an elite now? 
I would really like to upgrade. Probably Adrenaline. The Rourke, thanks for three months. Silent, but deadly. Is there any reason not to use a fruit juice immediately? Or wait. Yeah, it's exclamation point juice, right? The juice is loose. But why did the bot not respond? Hello? Is it a mod only command? It's not juice. Well, there used to be a command for that. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened to it. How's it going, Smurf? That found me because you were struggling with silent. Well, welcome. Oh, it got deleted. Interesting. The juice is loose, I guess. Anyway, uh, so I'll, I'll give a manual answer then. There are things you can find that would improve the value of fruit juice. And so reward the player for waiting. Uh, namely, toy, orn toy Ornithopter, which heals you five extra health for using a potion. We could also find... Yeah, screw the upgrades. Uh, we could also find... What's it called? Sacred Bark from the boss, which makes potion double strength. Or Apparitions, which would cause us to lose uh, max health based on our max health. So we could gain a, a couple max health if we take the Apparitions event. In addition to all of that... Anytime you would need to use the fruit juice, you're allowed to. You can drink the fruit juice during events, you can drink the fruit juice in combat or out of combat. So if you ever need the bonus, you can immediately get it. Although if I dagger throw eviscerate, I'm not playing anything else, huh? Hmm. That's well laid plans. That's good, that's good. I'll take a little bit here. We should be able to draw back to the dagger. I'd say that was a very good turn one for Gremlin Leader. Can't reasonably have expected much more than that. Need to miss the dagger kill now. Don't love what just happened. Can't proc panache this turn without playing it now. Is the problem. Uh, and I'm not sure we do enough damage to kill while weakened next turn. If we don't get the panache now. Maybe if I'm willing to use Gambler's Brew, we can get the the kill. So would I rather have Gambler's Brew or the Dagger proc? I'd rather have the Gambler's Brew. Yeah, they even got shielded. So if I don't do that last turn, we don't kill this turn. And then bad times. Bad times happen. Yeah, that was that was mandatory. Gremlin horn from the Gremlin leader, excellent. Okay, we're in we're in really good shape, especially with after image. Oh yeah, that we just got lots stronger. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, in addition to all the times where Gambler's Brew is normally useful in this deck. Gambler's Brew makes Eviscerate cheaper. 
and activates Sneaky Strike if necessary. So it has added effect here. Uh, I'm going to try to kill the Chosen as quickly as we can. Don't have... Play plans. You son of a gun. Hmm. Maybe this is where Gamblersburg gets used. Oh, we seem to be good. We seem to be good. Wow. All is well. All is, in fact, well. Although you have to stop attacking me, bird nerd. You. Your cease and desist. Good. Ooh, flechettes. Lachette's can really slap, and it has a free upgrade here. Six damage per skill in my hand. It's actually one of the best strength scaling cards in the game. Not that we have any strength, but we can make it do quite a bit of damage just by virtue of having a lot of cards in our hand. I'm taking that. This is a multi-attack, so it stacks multiple times with Venom or Strength. That Maneuver Plus can also do some interesting things here, potentially. Clichettes. Hmm, have to acro sneaky before I after image here. Oh yes. Actually, I might not after image at all. At least not at first. Sacro. Good. Yeah, Blachette's is currently 24 damage. Means we can eviscerate Flechettes. He's dead too. Well laid plans. Perfect turn one. This fight's already over. And this is supposed to be the hardest fight in the act. Not today. Yeah, Gremlin Horn definitely putting in a lot of work, for sure. So is Flechettes. Great fight. We get a strike dummy. Sneaky strike does three more damage. Blood Vial heals us too. We find a potion. We don't have room for the potion, but now we can drink the fruit juice, so whatever, right? Anyone for Storm of Steel? The discard card that doesn't work with any of the discard cards. <laughs> Get out of here. Although it's kind of nice with the uh, panache, I guess. I don't think it's good enough to want. 
Juzu bracelet. There's not even any events this act. Get out of here. We've done very well so far. Two elites down, no problem. How's number three going to be? It's the Book of Stabbings. We have to prove our matchup against all three elites of Act 2. Pretty easy so far. skills. Let's not bother yet, then. I want Survivor Ritual Dagger next turn. I do. Okay, just click the strike. One. One measly damage. Ninja Scroll and Vajra. And Acrobatics Eviscerate Backflip. Holy moly. Uh, with this Flechette, I want another backflip. Rather than the Eviscerate, I'll take the Ninja Scroll for more turn one damage. Although that might backfire. It does give us a good reason to upgrade After Image, actually. Calipers would be good here. Uh, right, next turn. There we go. Forty damage flechettes. See if we can get to uh, Dagger. Uh, would kill. I'm willing to take some health loss here to get the Ritual Dagger. Three is not bad. Hope you like that. There we are. Worth it. Got these cards already upgraded, each of them. We could take an unupgraded version of another one of them. I don't actually hate another well-aid plan, so I'm going to take another well-aid plans here with the mummified hand so that we can retain a third card. Oh, panache, turn one here. Get wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked. And then knife the last guy. It's Smiling Mask for cheaper removals, and yeah, the Bag of Prep did show up, negating itself with a Ninja Scroll. I'll still take it, but uh, this actually does nothing, unfortunately. The Footwork doesn't do nothing. The Footwork adds further to the plan. We could take a Caltrops Plus instead, because it's got a free upgrade. I want the Footwork. That said, the Slaver's fight we just had was better in part because of Ninja Scroll. I don't feel too bad about it. And yeah, the scroll always 
activates first. There's no way around it. Get to retain piercing well, though. That was good to add the second piercing well. For a second uh, welly plans. I might have had a kill there, actually. I think I had a kill there. I forgot I was immune to weaken. That's right, I'm immune to weak. You don't need uh, fumes, even though it's a power. I like the current potions. Bird nerds. the whale. Doesn't matter. Dagger has scaled very quickly into a very powerful uh, card. Reflex is awesome, by the way. Now that's real card draw. Lots of good upgrades at this point. We collected lots of relics, lots of other cards. We could upgrade the footworks. We could upgrade the panache. The ritual dagger even is a reasonable upgrade. I like the idea of upgrading a ritual dagger. Let's do that first. Let's go in Carl Sagan. Yeah, last run was silly. This run is um, more effective, but similarly silly, it seems. Oops, my bad. Skip terror, skip terror for now. back. Ooh. It'd be a good Gambler's Brew turn if I felt so inclined. I don't feel so inclined, though. I think we're okay. Next turn. It's 
see if we can get back to neutralize here. I think we're good. We have uh, essentially five dexterity. Five additional blocks per card. There's neutralize. Perfect. Take only five damage. Certainly could be worse. I'm going to need that acro. First hyper beam, yes. But what about second hyper beam? Two damage, right? Alright. This never dies. Oh, wait, no, it's not time for Hyper Beam yet. Miscounted there. Good. In that case, maybe take 60 damage instead of what I was going to do. Does that sound? Enjoy. GG. Phantasmal Killer. Now, that is a way to do lots of damage with the deck. If we upgrade it, it becomes zero cost. Next turn, deal double damage. And I love that. I really love that. Yep, I'll take it. And... I take the Pyramid of the Hovering Kite. Holy. I've already got two well-aid plans. Sounds like we want Hovering Kite. What mod am I using to highlight nodes on the map? That one is called Map Marks. Exclamation point map. Pyramid is still good even with two LA plans, but yeah, it's a lot less good. We'll take uh we'll take the energy source. First time we discard a card each turn, gain one energy back. Sounds good to me. Two different ways we can get three elites. Oh, this one gets two shops with uh, smiling mask, though. That's a that's a yes. That's a yes from me. I'm hoping get lucky here. Hoping, hoping, hoping. back road for free there. I don't remember. We do next turn, though. Acrobatics! Again! Hmm. 
Good enough. Good enough. Kill with the ritual dagger to keep leveling it up. I could kill right now with eviscerate, but I don't want to. Ancient Potion could be good for the heart, and look at that, a Calculated Gamble Plus. That is a beauty of a card to add to this deck. Helps us get to our scaling faster, helps us cycle through the deck, helps us activate all of our effects. Doesn't even need an upgrade, you'll love to see it. these strikes though. Boink. This is a really good heart killing card, Piercing Whale. Two or three copies is what you need to make sure you can survive through multiple heart attacks. Much damage? 110. Good lord. That is maybe too much. Can't do both of these, huh? Right. Don't like that I had to do that, but here we are. Ghost in a jar. Gain one intangible. That's a yes. I'm going to go ghost gambler's brew rather than ancient pot gambler's brew. That's how much I value this gambler's brew. And then I'm hoping we find mind bloom in one of these two events. Really am. Find double orb walkers. I'll fight these nerds for a rare relic. Might be tough, but they're not tough enough. I am willing to use one or more potions here. Yeah, I'm actually willing to use both potions if necessary, but I'm hoping it won't be necessary. Let's see, how much damage can I deal? 35, 80, yep, that kills. Well, actually, it kills without even the dagger throw being involved. Even better.
Even better, I say. Thirty twenty. Help. We're good. We good. Great fight. We score Guria. We can now gain strength at rest sites up to three times. And another upgraded backflip. Come on, Mind Bloom. No, no Mind Bloom. Bummer. Am I excited about Spire 2? You betcha. Very, very excited about Spire 2. Didn't think we were going to get Slay the Spire 2. Not sure what to hope for here. Don't exactly have a lot of expectations for what Spire 2 contains. I think that's probably the, the best way to avoid disappointment, but very excited, definitely. Any of that. All right, it's elite fighting time. We got three elites, which means six more relics headed our way. Currently, I have no faith in our ability to up to uh, lifts, but oh well. We'll use the other relics, probably. Sixty damage flechettes. Love to see it. Hoping I'd find ritual dagger here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, we have meal ticket. I didn't get mind bloom. We're good. We're good. This is fine. Yeah, we're just going to heal all of this back. So there's no reason to use either of these potions there. Uh, because I can restore all of the health. Take one last piercing well. This should be the last one we need. You need to say plus. I think acrobatics needs to say plus, but we can't do that. We get no more upgrades. Lifting a luxury we cannot afford, unfortunately. Keep a strike to kill something with.
That's 20. We're good. Ritual Dagger deals 210 damage. Boom. That's why we took it. We get a White Bee statue and a Prayer Wheel. <laughs> 210. Good lord. We get some more card rewards. That's kind of nice. More potions, although I am very likely to just leave those potions on the ground. If only we'd lifted, it would have done 212. I'm rich, by the way. Not because of Mall Bank, either. Get booted. A fine move. One piercing whale. Survivor. Don't play eviscerate, because playing eviscerate could get us cursed here. Even though it does a lot of damage. Basically, we want to stop attacking it once it's performing something that we can deal with. Or if we can kill it. We can just kill it. We should do that. Leg soup's pretty good. We don't have that much weaken in this deck, right? No, we don't. Deck of throws, whatever. I'll take the leg sweep. And we hit our first shop, healing for 15. Now we're already back at full health. No reason to use that ghost in jar earlier. Medical kit is here, which could get rid of status cards. That's definitely nice. Ink bottle is card draw, sort of. Smooth stone is extra dexterity. That's kind of useful. Definitely need to cut a strike here. Dark shackle's not bad, although we've got three piercing whales. I'm going to take the med kit. I like that here. Leave all the rest unpurchased. We have more shops coming up. Two more shops coming up, to be specific. Which means two more strike removes. And 268 gold of other stuff. Boot. The boot, though. EK does nothing. Not again. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> Why you gotta do this to me? Alright, we're better prepared this time, at least. Full block. Nice try. Wait a minute. <laughs> Close enough. Doesn't actually level the dagger, but whatever. We get bird face urn healing us per power and kunai, of course, kunai GG and another another backflip, which I will take. We're flipping now.
Oh yeah, Kunai with the um, Ninja Scroll is quite good as well. So it's like we do have the oddly smooth stone. Kill you. G. Tropic Brew gets left on the ground. We take a malaise, though. Definitely take a malaise. So many cards. Could buy another ghost in a jar. <laughs> I really wanted to. We could get our sadistic nature back from last run. Could buy Duvu Doll for one strength. We could buy Boat Thingy for 14 block on two turn. Turn two. I might lift in Act 4, actually. I think it would be very hard to lose this run. It might be. I think Boat Thingy's good. Helps us turn 2 of Shield and Spear. Helps us turn 2 of Heart. Although Double Ghost is also very reasonable, actually. Quick page two relic inspect. On page two is just the kunai at the moment. Does the boot make a thousand cuts do more damage? No. It is not attack damage. And so it does not get increased. I'm perfectly fine with Gambler's Ghost. Let's go uh, boat thingy. We have to recall here. No lifting. So, first boss, Donu Deka. More like Donu and Heka. All right. Perfectly good turn one. Good enough. Deleted. <laughs> that dagger is so good. It's too good. Ooh. 
We are a little low in terms of attacks, admittedly. Not stopping me, though. Excuse me. Oh. There's the skills. GG. Next boss is Bird Nerd. I think we're just going to Ritual Dagger one of your minions on turn one here. Make my life a bit easier. 95 damage is what the dagger now says. Bird Nerd gains strength with every power we play, so we probably want to skip the unupgraded plans, at least initially. And we're going to rely on Kunai scaling. Malaise is good too. Why don't we just Malaise right now then? Or minus three. And we'll heal from bird face turn. Yeah, just do this. I will play. I will play the panache. And the upper image. Die. We can use Piercing Whale between phases if we really want to. Lachette's does 14 times 6. 84 damage. You're dead to thorns, huh? Actually, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, that means I get a turn to play my powers. I should have waited. Could have kept both powers. Forgot it was going to work like that. Means we get the footwork for free. That's fine, too. And yeah, we didn't get to whale, but whatever. Really not that important, given how much decks we have. Act 4 upgrade, almost certainly going to be acrobatics. As tempting as lifting might be. Reflex is also decent. I think it'd be better to upgrade acro. Good. 
damage. Ooh, that's a big number. The damage. And we're out of here. On to Act 4 with uh, nary a health missing, too. GG. Two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all this discord? Discard? Discord? We deal 2488. Holy heck, that is a very high score leaving Act Three. Very curious what our final score will be. Yeah, let's upgrade one of our acrobatics here. Malaise is a half decent upgrade. The footworks are a half decent upgrade. I think we need more draw. What card would I call MVP this run? Either Ritual Dagger or Eviscerate are very important here. Buy another calc gamble. Unupgraded though. Ah. Smiling mask saving 225 gold is pretty good too. Would I consider busted crown if I already have question card? Yeah. Especially if it's after act two rather than after act one. Can be pretty good then. I'm gonna try to kill you first. Actually, let's kill the spear. <laughs> Never mind. This is going to be an easy fight. I forgot I had Ritual Dagger. Right, that's the whole point of Ritual Dagger, is to make this fight trivial. This one right here. Boom. Gone. Just gone. Take that, foul beast. No relics to set up, just kill it. Very, very good fight. We get Paper Crane. Dramatically reducing damage to ourselves when weakened. We get Toy Ornithopter healing us five after each potion use. And if we want, we can take another Acrobatics. I think we're perfectly fine, though. Do I think that, on average, a silent run takes longer than a run with Ironclad or Defect? Yes. And the short answer as to why is damage. Silent does less damage per turn and therefore needs to play more turns per fight. So a silent run is usually longer because you have to play more cards, more turns of combat than the other characters.
Yeah, we even perfected Shield and Spear for another uh, bunch of points. That's kind of cool. Defect runs are shorter because you die. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. All right, pretty good turn one. We get one of the well-laid plans. That's all I really need. And a dad joke for the crowd, courtesy of Blee Out. Um, why did the silent decide to become a Twitch streamer? He heard that she would get to use a cardioid microphone. No refunds to a shot. The kunai is at zero. That's a really good turn one. time. Even better. It's Newt. Keep these three. Yeah, we got Retain three already. That's great news. So probably all Ghost in a Jar, the first big hit. We can malaise the multi-hit. I do believe we need minus two. Those statuses for me, thank you. And then, although it's only 38, this is probably the biggest hit we're going to face during this fight. So let's just ghost now. Unless we think we're going to have the fight go really long. And I don't think we are. the ghost inning. Lachette's just did a hundred damage. Actually, not going to play Ritual Dagger because it's overkill right now. It does 200 damage. It's too much damage. <laughs> That's a great card. Oh, yeah, you've got Artifact, though. What do I do about this? I guess I could just block normally, whatever that means. What does it even mean to be normal? Take one damage. Disaster. Oh well, whatever. Not a perfect fight. But a nice fight. It's actually not that good either.
Definitely doing plenty of damage, as you can see. We got it. We got it. GG, Mr. Hart. Get daggered for two hundo. GG. What a run. Beautiful and clean and powerful was this run. Totally unlike last run. Just a really good run. GG. And hey, it started with Meow's Lament. The starting bonus is not that bad sometimes. We were really able to snowball here with First Elite giving us Preserved Insect into taking Black Star into many, many relics. GG, what's the final score here? 33, 38, not actually that good. We only got one perfect boss, believe it or not. Although we got six perfect elites. Kind of cool. Estrabella Gina with a very generous 10 gifted subs. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Very cool. What did I want from Mind Bloom? I wanted to upgrade all in that position. We had lots of health and lots of unupgraded cards. So if we encountered Mind Bloom, even though we had a few sources of healing, I really wanted to upgrade the whole deck to get uh, all the acros upgraded, all the energy discounts, all the powers upgraded. I think it would have made the run very strong to have an upgrade all. I code Rogan, thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. And Spurf that with the Prime sub. Now, what Twitch chat has it been done? The spy are sleepeth. And so shall I. GG. Yeah, we also would have gotten to lift if we had found upgrade all. The boot. Would Choker be stronger or weaker if it gave you more energy but less cards? I think it'd be weaker. I think it would, I would think it would be quite a bit weaker. 4176. That's a great Scott silent score, Vera Hook. Indeed, not that scores mean a whole lot. Does Mummy Hand tell it how tell us how much energy it saved? It does. Over a hundred is apparently how much. Four at point three per combat. Which is a lot more than Gremlin Horn gave. Mummy Hand definitely helped us make this deck feel like it wasn't starved for energy. Just hovering kite a few times. Not that much, though. Glutes for Sloots says, What determines the damage you do at the heart at the end of Act 3? That is your current score. So that uh, 2488 is what we saw. That's the score of the run at the end of Act 3. With your score being determined... Oh, here's a breakdown. Yeah. By the number of floors and enemies you fought, the number of elites you killed... And if you got perfect, that is, you didn't take any damage during your boss or elite fights. There's a few other special modifiers that will give you score. Well, I'm very happy with our Spire runs here today, Twitch chat. I think I'm going to sw switch it up to some Slice and Dice. Famous Euros Trash says, top three advices for Spire for newbies. Let's see. If your block card, if your defend card isn't blocking for the full five, you should play a strike instead. Instead, um, You should be removing your starter cards. So your strikes and defends, you should work to remove those at shops because they will clog your deck later on. 
and don't be afraid to skip cards sometimes. You want to take maybe half of the cards you're offered throughout a Spire run, but certainly not all of them, and also certainly not none of them. Dyson and Slyson. Always take Piercing Whale. Oh yeah, and uh, another good, good early advice. Don't take too many events in Act 1. Or don't take too many events in general, really. Not not too many more than three per act is a good rule of thumb. Combats give you card rewards and potions, and you're going to need those for the later fights in the game. So if you take too many events, you'll find that you can't improve your deck, and then you'll fall behind. Which damage cards wouldn't I take on floor one, even if they were the only damage offered? Huh. <laughs> There's very few answers to that question. I would take Wild Strike. Maybe. Probably Clash. Body Slam. Body Slam's not good on floor one, even though it's a damage card. Clash. Cleave is fine. Anger's fine. Clothesline's fine. Headbutt. Heavy Blade. Iron Wave. Peace Strike. Pommel. If it's the only option, I'll take a Sword Boomerang or a Thunderclap. If it's the only option, I'll take a Wild Strike. First card flechettes is fine. Actually, some of my favorite silent runs have been first card flechettes. Into like second card acrobatics. Do you call fire breathing a damage card? Maybe that. Finisher? No, I take finisher if it's the only option. Rampage is fine on floor one. Like all of the really bad stuff I still take on floor one if it's the only option. Searing blow, probably. Maybe if there's no path, it, this can upgrade a bunch of times in. I don't love Quick Slash, but I will take it on floor one if it's my only option. Same with Cloak and Dagger. This last run was a floor one sneaky strike. Choke is fine on floor one. Not great, but fine. Riddle with Holes is also not great, but fine. Maybe a grand finale? <laughs> you can skip grand finale. Blizzard, I would probably skip. So the answer is the, the damage cards that don't actually do damage on floor one. Blizzard and Body Slam. Meteor, or that you can't play, right? Meteor Strike or Clash. That's about it, really. Everything else improves improves the starting deck. All of the other damage cards are better than strike, so they're worth adding. The watcher card that can be the only damage card in your hand is called Signature Move. And this is actually way better to take on floor one than it is on almost any other floor. If you see this floor one, take it and remove some strikes. It's going to be great. Love that card. Pressure points. Okay, maybe maybe not pressure points. <laughs> maybe not pressure points. Watcher doesn't need damage as badly on floor one. All right, Twitch chat. We're going to be switching games here. I want to play some hard runs of Slice and Dice in the second half of stream today. Although before we do that, we're going to be taking a quick break and uh, refilling the water and all that. I'll leave you here on the main menu of Lice and Dice. So Twitch chat back in a couple minutes. When I return, we see if we can begin winning hard some more. 
We are in Slice and Dice. BRB.
All right, Twitch chat. It's time to slice and dice. Let's start a new classic hard run here. Last time we had the force composition, I didn't really like that. Flex with the green is curious. I want to try the greens a bit more. So let's try flex. I think it's easier when you've got magic users in general. Looks like we got double yellow. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, the BRB is still there. Whoop, there you go. Not to call a spade a spade, but this character's a spade. Heal two for any pip. That's pretty good. Any pip. So they can... Uh... They can mulch with the revive side. That's nice. On hard mode, we have to have a curse for the run. During the first turn, enemies get one more pip. All heroes have a top blank. Monsters have more health. Or heroes start partially damaged. Let's see, with double yellow... I really want to give the enemies more health. If this is lethal, I die. Let's go with the uh, start damaged. Give us a good reason to use a healer character. Plus it makes mulch pretty good. die. How about no? Maybe don't do that. Maybe do do that. Quick go. So I can mulch to heal too with the spades ability? Yeah. Cool. Oh, behave. What is this? Poke one damage with a cooldown. Heal one to all. Cool. Um, kill the rat. I could revive. Still gonna start the fighter at half health next combat though, so it's not so good. Let's try that again. That'll do. A chest! Random tier 1 curse and four tier 1 items. Last time that tier 1 curse I think did us in. The items weren't that good. I'm gonna decline the curse chest. Let's take a level up here into Sinew, who has four damage exert sides and a cleave side, or Mage into Evoker. Evoker is one of my favorites with the drop spell. Four damage to the top enemy for four mana. That's what I want. Give me an Evoker. Hmm. Try to get a better side than that, hey? Uh, good enough. <laughs> oh, I see you're dying. Hold on. Wait a minute. Missed the part where the acolyte is getting killed. So let's try to kill the bottom goblin then. Do that. There we go. Had a house cat run yesterday. I've I've heard the tales of the house cat run. We have yet to do one ourselves. Ooh. 
coin. Plus four pips to the left side, but minus one reroll. <laughs> Spicy. Or the rusty plate. Replace your middle side with a blank to gain three max health. Rusty plate is very good on spade. Five, five, yeah. Let's take the rusty plate. Minus one reroll is an enormous penalty. Thorns shouldn't be too bad. They deal damage back when they're hit, but you can just avoid problem in a couple of ways. And now for the troll. We can upgrade into granite. Has. Wait a minute. It's the inner two health. Okay, it has two health normally, but they have to be removed individually. And has a cannot die effect. Fighter into whirl. Whirl's all about AoE damage. Spade seems crazy good, though. help take down the troll quickly, which I do appreciate. Let's try out granite. Sure, we'll do it. We'll do it. Oh, no, they have five, five hit points normally. Two there. Okay. I thought that was counting the rusty plate. But it wasn't. Actually, let's give the acolyte more health. <clears throat> Really good roll overall, actually. Probably going to want to restore next turn or something. Well, let's just do a bunch of damage here. The Voker's really good at killing the troll. Yeah, it's already almost dead. Probably just kill it next turn. Since we didn't make the enemies tougher in any way, uh, high damage strategies should be pretty effective. Roll the evoker? No way. I like the evoker. Square wheel. Replace the three right sides with gain a reroll cantrip blank blank. Interesting. Not terrible on granite, I guess. <clears throat> or needle. Add picky and plus two pips to all targeted sides. The target has to have exactly that much health to target them. Fascinating. And a dad joke for Ptor 4K. Here's one specifically for you. If the Ironclad were to master climbing up a mountain, would that be a perfected hike? Hold. Hold. I think I'm going to reroll our item here. These are both weird. Big hammer. Yeah. Big bonk. Give the fighter the bonk stick. Actually, anyone who is using this has the plate for free, right? So it's really good with the plate. Amazing. This blind guy says if... No damage was dealt to any monster, they'll flee on their turn. 
And the militia flees if we get five or more block, but we have no block. So that's not going to happen. Uh, roll one more time. Not great. Heal to all if we need to. I'll take the guaranteed one mana. Please live alone, actually, so we just win. Very good. Very good. Illusions have only one hit point. They can do damage. And there's a golem. Start with eight shield, so it's actually got ten health. It has steel sides, which are spooky, and it can gain more block, which is also spooky. Scrapper also has steel sides, but since we have no block generation, I think Scrapper's pretty bad. How about Medic? Cleave heals are pretty good. Set a hero to four health for only one mana. That's good. And regen is also good. Let's try Medic here. I like the endurance this gives, and those heal cleaves are actually good on turn one because we start damaged. Oh boy. Deal yourselves. Ooh, that's a good turn for target ally, can't I? Let's just take the hit then, hey? Seems good. The bandit's also doing a huge hit. Yikes. I'll roll one more time. Fair enough. That got worse. Bummer. Leave an adjacent monster is overkilled by two or more. Wait, you mean like this? Ha! Ah. Oh, and the golem fled! <laughs> That's right, because because fleeing is determined by health. If the enemies have are outnumbered health-wise 10 to 1, then they leave. The golem had lots of block but very low health. <laughs> Excellent. All right, see you later, Golem. Abacus is kind of fun. You shift your middle row across by one and then add one max health, which can help you combo with other items in some fun ways. Short Sword on the Medic is pretty funny too. Or, or on granite, actually, also. Yeah, it's just good for now. Probably this becomes obsolete later, whereas this is not that useful now, but could be very strong later on. Yeah, not bad on hoarder either, as it makes the keywords on these two sides better. Although I'd rather replace blank sides. We'll just go with short sword for now. Seems fine. On medic. Low rolls from all of the snakes here. Okay, that kills two of them. I reroll the medic again. Mostly looking for the mana side on her. Switch. Oh, 
I can't actually get a kill doing this. Uh, although I can do the following. Hello. The big bonk. That hammer is sweet. The sarcophagus flees at the end of turn three and drops an item if we kill it. First three health have to be removed individually. So you have a limited amount of time to kill the sarcophagus. We might be able to do it. We got a pretty good offense oriented party here. I think I'd rather take gladiator over berserker. These four damage pain sides are a bit much. And the engage sides are quite good. Another good candidate for the short sword. Although, so is the Berserker, actually. We'll have to get a different uh, hammer user, I suppose. Giving the hammer to the hoarder seems fine. <clears throat> yeah, that seems fine. Heavy attacks are not very good here. A little bit worrisome, actually. Okay, that kills the top knoll. We've got the bottom knoll and the evoker to worry about. <clears throat> Sounds like I want the heal cleave side, then. Could've kept that. Alright, we got it. And we got don't die. Cool. Although, not that we need the don't die side, unfortunately. Hmm. Makes it relatively unlikely we can kill this sarcophagus in time, but we'll see. Oh, that helps a bit. A little bit. Can roll more damage, that'd be helpful. Good. We got it. We got it. That's going to kill a skeleton, though. Easy. Gained Shimmering Halo. Plus two max health whenever I save a hero. Give that to the medic. And choose... Add self-heal to all mana gain sides. Or... All heroes gain one item slot, but minus two item slots. I like the tiara. Tiara on Evoker sounds pretty good. Heart's also pretty good, right? Yeah, being able to stack items on one hero. If I'd taken the Abacus, I'd be way more interested in Cart. Right, let's see Cart. So currently the cart does nothing, but it's going to let us stack items later in a way that's probably pretty helpful. So yeah, I'd like for you to save heroes this turn. That'll do. 
Uh, the only attack that kills the zombie, I guess the engage side does too. We should roll gladiator one more time. That works as well. So save two heroes. <clears throat> Medic gets four max health from that. Zombie dies in one hit. monsters unlocks a feature weird events interesting very interesting this is a good fight for aoe damage we don't have any of that or do we collector versus soldier i think i like collector more got a bunch of damage sides with different keywords Basically, the upgrade of the Hoarder, the keywords are all better, for the most part. Soldier just has average damage and block. We'll go with the hammer here, I think. I think we need the cannot die side. Yes, yes, yes. Eat that. Perfect. Right way to do this. something like this. That's pretty good. Should, yeah, I should have used the medic first to get the max health, but whatever. Not too relevant for this fight, thankfully. Poisoned two. Then they can do a poison explosion and two golems. Gizmo. Add shifter to the two right sides. A random extra keyword changing each turn. Or ambrosia. Side can be used again if it saves a hero. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Cannot die with rescue, you say. Seems kind of good. Gifter is strong too, you think? Could put that on Collector. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes it's a bad keyword, right? Because it can add death, right? Or add pain. Let's take Ambrosia.
That's a lot of damage coming my way. Good here. Yeah, heal keeps Granite alive, actually. Although so does killing this carrier. Let's reroll. That'll do it, right? Pretty sure that does it. Although the collector will still die, right? I'm okay with that. Cyrus TD, thanks for the 43 months of support. I think. Otherwise, I'm not seeing how we're saving the evoker in any way, shape, or form. There we go. So yes, that can be used again now. That's cute. So who's getting poisoned here? Gladiator is getting poisoned. Either of them. Neat. So I think we want to hit the top one. Cool. GG. Oh, it's our first time fighting the Wendigo. For the top non-magic hero, add possessed and mandatory to all sides. So the Wendigo effectively controls our granite during the fight. Smash this item into two smaller items. Actually tempting, given that we have the cart, right? Hmm. Let's try it. Accept. Aegis. Replace the middle side with shield one, duplicate steel. And magnet. Add wham to the two right sides. Double effect on targets with shields. Luggage are tier three. What the heck? What? 
On pick, Ganey ran... Oh! Oh! Oh my good lord. Yes, we take luggage, right? Because we get a bunch of items that we have more item slots for. Also, it means that uh, the luggage is mind-controlled against the Wendigo. And the Wendigo, that does nothing, right? That completely shuts the boss down, too. That's amazing. Gained Fairy Dust. Replace blank sides with three mana. Flute. Replace the rightmost side with shield one to all allies cantrip. And blood amulet. Add self-heal to the two left sides. All right. That's amazing. And this should still work on the luggage. In our favor, I believe. We can just overwrite the downside of these two items. Equip three items to collector. Cool. Does luggage count as a magic hero now? No, magic hero means blue. I guess. Those can be wham. Those are fine at wham. Okay, that is shield one to all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this does work with wham. The flute. So let's make the flute wham. <clears throat> Slam it on the flute. All right. Three mana, mandatory. We must three mana or else. I'll take the heal to cleave for once. Two damage is fine. Yeah, let's just gain two more shield to everybody. Then we can dispatch these pesky thorns. And yeah, we still gain the mana. Still get the mana. Good turn. Demonic deal. Add pain and plus two pips to all sides. Glorious. Actually, wait a minute. What if I put that on the evoker? Is that not amazing on the evoker? Because these two sides are self heal, so they're not actually pain. And then the cantrip is self-shield, so it is also counteracted. It shields everybody except the evoker, basically. So that's just awesome. On the evoker, what's the other item? I Add pristine to the middle side. Double effect if they have full health. That's not going to happen because we start damaged. Take the demonic deal. What if I... <laughs> Although it doesn't get the plus pips. No, we want it like that. I was going to say, we could, we could have it in a different order so that the, the flute doesn't even have the pain. But no, this is perfect. And then we put wham on what? Do 
I protect you. Really want to do that? Not really. Look, mana, we can do some stuff though. Could we'll probably just kill this late, actually. Yeah, ten mana. We just burst three times. So everyone except the Evoker gains three shield when that happens. He was pretty good. Whoops. Oh well. Reroll Gladiator. Turn them into something not yellow. So what is this? Let me go with no, I think. I like the current comp. So collector into bash or gladiator into captain. For three damage pips and three shield pips. Two to all enemies and then shield two to everyone. I don't have the shield pips required for a captain to be good. Although I guess the evoker's side would kind of count. Seven damage exert's pretty cool, and two more five damage heavy sides. Let's go with Bash here. Be the same items. Actually, wait a minute. I've been doing. I've been doing luggage wrong. Luggage should be this. <laughs> that's way better. Oh, that's way better. We'll do that on Bash. Got one carrier poisoning everyone. Spooky. Hmm. This is four, so I can kill two of them. What I'm seeing here. Can Medic save anyone? Not yet. But yes, if I kill the one poisoning. Let's see what, how this goes. But I can't kill this one now. But I can just shield the luggage. That's fine. Roll the heel cleave side. Good. Nice. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, hell is basically impossible, Fallen TD Red. It's an interesting little game. A lot of games, the highest difficulty is intended to be still somewhat fair, but that's not the case here in this game. The highest difficulties are next to actually impossible. Good luck just getting off the first floor of Brutal or Hell. Rampage and minus one pip to the left side. If only that worked on the uh, exert side here. Unfair is close to, to fair. Brutal actually has streaks. That's surprising to me. Plus one pip to all healing sides is pretty good on medic. I'll take the random item. A tier 8, Tourmaline. Add era to all mana sides. Plus one pit for each elapsed turn. <laughs> the luggage continues to get stronger. Although it doesn't benefit us on turn one, sadly. Imagine being carried by your luggage rather than the other way around. That's us right now. Alpha, alpha with two alphas, what the heck? I just realized what I was fighting. does get saved. That's good. So we'll just do that. Yes, please. Reroll these. Shield 2 can set up a multi-save for the medic. Uh-oh. Oh, the gladiator's full. I can't save the, med the gladiator. Shoot. Did not think that through. Oh, we save the gladiator by killing the alpha then. Yeah, let's just try to do that. Can I kill the stinky snake? Yes, I can. Okay, let's do that. Okay, that's not as bad as I feared. Also got that heal to four spell we can use. Renew. Five mana. Evoker, I'm gonna need you to roll something or we're gonna have a bad time. Thank you. Well, not really, actually. Although that's still a net gain, right? Set him to four, take three mana with pain, set him back to four. Seems fine. Nine mana can only do eight damage. It's not enough to keep the medic alive. To burst three times on medic? Ugh. There were other options, but whatever. The era is winning this fight now. Our era has arrived. for the Troll King. But first, we either level our Warlock into an Evoker. Or our Evoker into a Warlock, rather. 
I think pain and plus pips to all sides. Not bad on this character when they've already got pain on two of their sides. And for six mana, they can do 13 damage, which is really good with how much mana we can make. Or Surgeon can revive. Has crazy healing. I want Warlock. Warlock is absolutely mental here. Yeah, Warlock is absolutely insane. Six mana pain. Four mana self-heal pain. Five mana self- uh, five damage self-heal pain. Cool. Should be able to kill the Troll King on turn one with a decent roll. I'm pretty sure that counts. to see here. Yep. The damage. This is actually not good. Nice. Some reroll that was. Ah. Fine though. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Using the regen side on the Warlocks, also pretty good. <laughs> Overkill that fool. Holy Book, add cleanse and self-cleanse to the middle roll, or deadly bolt. After an ability is used, one damage to the topmost enemy. That's kind of cool. Holy Book doesn't seem that useful for this party. But uh, Deadly Bolt is interesting. I would also do random tier 8 because there's a lot of good ones. Go Deadly Bolt. Give that to Bash. Ow. I have 13 health, so I just delete one of you. And the Wisp takes one. Can I save Bash now with only three mana? I'm not sure about that, actually. Kinda cool if we don't. Doesn't seem like we get to. Then the fight's mostly over, so whatever. Two damage here. Lose the bash. Luggage adds pain. That's actually kind of bad. Oh, 
everybody's got pain. Well, not everybody, but... Plenty of pain to go around. Okay, good. We got the heel cleave side, so we can get a multi... multi thing here. Let me hit the fanatic. Oops. Now we want to do this first. There we go. There we go. Equip the lightning bolt thingy? I did, but the character wearing it just perished, so we don't have it for this fight anymore. Already head pain. Good enough, I think. Wait, why do you have so much health? What is this? Self-heal three vitality. Interesting. I like I've never seen that before. Bash is missing a lot of health as we go into double basilisk. That's kind of scary. We're offered a wanderer has era and defy keywords. Or profit over medic. Because heal and mana gain, heal rescue, heal with vitality. And for four mana, we can give everyone regeneration, which I rather like. Yeah, let's go with profit here. Also, wham, wham vitality is kind of insane. Set the short sword unequipped for now. Basilisk dies to one spell. I guess we'll kill the one that's hitting the bash. Seems reasonable. Max health on profit. side that does anything this turn. Fair enough. Fair enough. Done the wizard. Kill the wizard. Add rescue to the top and bottom sides. Ooh, on the heal two mana gain, that's particularly good. Uh, or Emerald Mirror. Oh no, gain the effect of all tier six to eight items on other heroes. Hold on, hold on. There's six to eight. Blood Amulet. Demonic Deal. Loot. Oh my good lord. 
We get another deadly bolt also. Holy crap. And the tourmarine thing as well. And the fairy dust. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, give me that. That's so many items. That's so many items. Okay, what does that actually do if we equip it on profit? What? What is this? We have heal five, rescue, self heal, pain. Amazing. Heal four, mana gain, pain era. Heal seven, vitality, self heal, pain. Heal seven, vitality, pain. Shield three to all allies, cantrip, pain. And we can still apply the max health and the wham too. Oh my good lord. <laughs> okay, let's try that. That seems absurd. And then we should have a second copy of Deadly Bolt too. So every time we use a spell, we deal two damage to the top enemy. Also, yes, luggage is legitimately carrying. Good lord. Amazing item. Okay. Uh, let's see how this plays in the last couple fights. Steal five. Yeah, we can kill zombies easy enough. Yeah, that's a good hand, I think, right? We hit the demon. Then we do this. This. You do that. Gain a ton of max health on both of them. Then we'll just bank the mana. Good. Seems even better. Now everyone has nine block. Profit has how much health? What? <laughs> everyone has 21 block except the profit. <laughs> oh, that's too good. That's too good. That's right, you run away, demon. Inevitable. Wait, I've never seen this final boss before. Every fifth hit point, become immune to damage this turn. Inflicts exert with cleave and era. It's got era on the keywords, but so do I. Six damage, heavy self heal. That's not bad. Three damage to the top and bottom enemies weaken era. Oh, that's spooky. That's spooky. Self-heal works whether it's blocked or not, yeah. Yeah, there's no other items I can shuffle around here that I think help at all. We level up our gladiator into a generated yellow hero who has six damage, three damage self-shield, one damage era. Seems pretty bad compared to a curator here. Who has charged, oh boy, charged. Charged is good. Charged is really good. Hey, I gotta re-equip everybody. Cool. 
continue. Okay, that's a good side, I believe. We got the heal for mana gain pain. Era. Seems good. Rampage on this turn? Oh my, yes. Take the exert side. I'm going to go with also, yes. That's a really good roll. Wait, bloodlust. That's bloodlust, right? Yeah, hold on. We can do some stupid nonsense. Oh, right. We're damaging the top one. That's right. Hold on. Can't use it now. Eleven. Kill you. Rampage here. First here. Rampage here. First here. Rampage here, rampage here, rampage here, deal 13. Shield the Prophet. GG! He was only invincible one time. Easy. Easy, easy. GG. That was a great run. Just over an hour, hey? Luggage OP. That was so many cool items synergizing. Really like that one. Let's, uh, let's go, as they say, again. On hard here. Oh, I want a magical party? Or do we dare do double green with no casters? I don't think so. I want to go magical. Be a magical party. Not one with expensive spells. All monsters have stone health on turn one. Monsters double their big sides. Top and bottom sides can't be rerolled. We got a house cat. Three damage. One damage cleave and cannot level up. Oh. Oh, that's why people are talking about House Cat Run. House Cat can't level up. Amazing. Yikes, yeah, these are all nasty curses, though. I can reroll. Does that reroll? No, it rerolls the party layout, too. I want the House Cat. So House Cat not leveling means the other heroes level more, which means we can see higher than tier three heroes, which is very cool. House Cat is also, yes, a cat. And therefore adorable. I'm really scared of Big Hitter. But maybe we can do it. Sticky Fingers maybe not that bad. Although we definitely have some blanks to be locked into. Like House Cat Sticky Fingers is pretty bad. So is Cultist. Let's try a big hitter. I might regret this a lot. I'm gonna make the easy game early. Early game easy, at least. There we go. Birds are hard. One mana, huh?
Acolyte into Medic again or Evoker again. I am an Evoker fan. Get in here, Evoker. Yeah, even more reason not to use uh, locked top and bottom sides as the curse. Good work, Evoker. Eat that bee. Tasty bee. Got that one, I guess. the left side with the middle side, or revert all changes to the left side. Interesting. All changes. Huh. Let's try Pendulum. Definitely some fun shenanigans you can do with that. Place house cat with a generated hero? Not on your life. Here's a generated hero. Vine. One damage or heal one. Look at this three regen side. That's strong. Or clumsy into ninja. I like ninja. The copycat keyword sides. We can copy cleave. Or we have a double use side. That's pretty good. Take a ninja. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> the cat is dying. My cat is being eaten by a wolf. Help. Please send help. 12 damage. Not that I could really save them if it was six. <laughs> My poor kitty shall perish this day. So we have three, heal three vitality, sort of. Good job, kitty. <laughs> Give it an empty max L. It's cute. Rip the cat. Rest in pieces, dear kitty. Oh my, that's a good roll. You're just dead? Oh, not quite. Actually, yes. Yes, quite. GG. Learn wings. Heal three to the top and bottom. Where the clumsy hammer. Top side becomes four damage, heavy eliminate. So, four damage to a target only if all targets have the same health. hate wings here. Or we can give the kitty a hammer. A hard to use hammer. You want the hammer? Alright, we'll do the hammer. Give that cat a hammer. Or 
House Cat is going to be eliminated? Or is it? No. Acolyte into Priestess, who can pray and shield to shield all dying allies, as well as having some AoE heals for the Enchanter. Swap each side with its opposite for two mana. How curious. Huh. It's an interesting character. I'm gonna go with Priestess. Will the kitty ever survive? Good enough, I guess. Hmm. It seems unlikely the house cat will ever survive. Swap sides work on the enemy's dice. A great question. I didn't even think about that. Goblin, although that doesn't save the cat, that does not save the cat. Ooh. Or the mystic, that's not acceptable. Oof. Gotta roll better. Actually, no, wait. That's right, it gets more expensive. Cyclops is stunned when we remove the middle health. Probably gonna rely on that at some point. There we go. Good. All right, looks like we're fine. a tough fight, but not insurmountable. Abacus is back, or Wrist Blade. Replace blank sides with one damage double use. Whoa, that's good. Love that on Evoker or House Cat. Look at that Wrist Blade. Assassin Cat. Give the hammer to the Evoker. Really good against illusions, too. That's right. The cat will always attack. That's a good one. 
Oh, and the double use is really good for the copycat keyword too, actually. Can you use that, actually? Cool. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Totally usable, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get rid of the illusions. No killing the cat. Watch out for that wizard with a hammer. It's mean. Same, same. Beautiful. Mystic into Vampire, who's got uh, heal to all allies, double effect if they're below half. As well as mana gain and self heal or a generated hero. Three mana, one mana, heal one regen, one damage growth, and a spell that says shield two for one mana. That's good enough. Also, nine max health. I'll take the. Uh, you need a new name. The Rouge. Onward. Okay, Fnatic is doing way too much damage. Hello? Oh god, because the... F <laughs> Those are the... Oh, that's the smaller side. We got uh, 4 damage pain, 12 damage pain, and 16 damage pain. Okay, terrifying. Terrifying. Is there anything we can do to save the Priestess? Maybe we can kill the Fnatic? Maybe we can kill the Fnatic. Odds look pretty good, actually. Are you summoning an imp? Yeah, an imp. Imp is fine. You're kidding me, I'm one short? No! I'm one damage short. Uh, can I shield the priestess enough? I don't think so, right? No. Okay, we'll just lose the Priestess then, and do all the damage to the bell. Kill here. What is this one mana supposed to do? Push that. Yeah, it's not possible. So hit the bell. the fanatics, so they're dead. And then 
ideally we kill the bell before anything untoward happens here. Should be easy. Yeah, it's easy. Although, actually, hold on. There we go. What is this? Eye ruler. All heroes add lucky and plus two pips to the top side. Pips are randomized between zero and the current pips, changing each turn. Yeah. Except. So it sets it randomly to zero between. Oh, I see. It doesn't work on the wrist blade, though. the hammer. Not as good as I thought, then. Redirect damage or fangs. Add self-heal to the left side. Self-heal on ninja is kind of cool. The fangs. It's actually no. This doesn't work unless we make them all have four health. There's no way I can do that because they, yeah, that's not gonna work. So reroll that. I'll take a one damage double use with copycat minerals and bones. Seems fine enough. I'm all doing the weekend thing. Yes, I can use the hammer. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. None of your stuff does anything. I live. Becomes immune to damage after a little while. A slime, a ghost, and a wizard. That's kind of fun. Invoke her into a generated blue hero. Five mana single use. Three mana growth. One damage mana gain. And their spell does one damage engage <laughs> with no cooldown. So double double damage to any enemy with more than one health. Or at full health, rather. I wouldn't say that's amazing necessarily, but not bad. Not horrible. Yeah, flick without the cooldown is kind of cool. Or Priestess into Surgeon is the revive ability. We lose the drop. Drop is three mana, four damage. This is also three mana, four damage. Doesn't have a top side for lucky plus two. Neither does the evoker. Let's do it. I don't see that we're actually losing anything here.
Drop works on backline enemies. True. Not this one, though. This one on the bottom. So it works on backline enemies that are on the top, which is eh, not very many. I see. Lucky randomized that to zero this turn. Bummer for you. Good side. Wait, we want to do this growth, right? Okay, we want to do double hit, double hit, growth, double hit. Again. Kill the slimelet. My kitty. You dare destroy my kitty? Destroy you. Crystallize. Add stasis to all sides. This side cannot change. Oh! Wait a minute. Wait, all sides. Hold on, all sides. No, I don't want all sides. Or replace the middle column with blank, four mana, and blank. Like that. Especially since then I can override the top side. So it counters exert, huh? That's kind of cool. And it works with Lucky to be plus two on the top side, you say. Test some things. Okay, that just fully works. Interesting. Huh. Good on Priestess, too, for the same lucky side. Stasis doesn't work with copycat? Okay. Interesting. All right. <laughs> How much is that? 16. All right. Terrifying. Why so big, though? House cat is getting absolutely murdered. Poor house cat. Wait, they both have 13 health? This works? Amazing. Let's see if we can get the kill. I don't think so. Yeah, we can. Excellent. That's a great meat shield. In a sense. So you've got what, spikes two? I don't want to use these. These are bad.
Okay, these are good. Wendigo is going to mind control our priestess, I think. No, the house cat. Okay, red and blue heroes are magic heroes. So it's going to mind control the house cat. So we want to unequip the sharp claws from the house cat. Any items we can give the cat to make them useless? The hammer? <laughs> is the hammer good? I guess it's no better than a blank side. This is all blanks, so give this to the Rouge. Okay, cool. Ooh, Ninja can turn into Agent. Sides with random keywords. Inflict pain and quad use sides. Or forsaken. Target ally becomes immune to damage this turn. Huge AoE heals. Lots of healing in general. Eh, I'll go agents. I'll go agents. Okay, let's see how this is. If the cat dies, it switches who's mind controlled. It's not great. What if the agent dies to a 14 damage bite? Hmm. The keywords this turn. Deathlust. If Deathwish's condition is met, gain the effect of bloodlust. Curious. Targets gain all my keywords this turn. Interesting. Yeah, maybe the crystalis thing works on agents? Maybe. That side's great. Side's okay. Of course it's fine. Grab all these. Okay, we got the death loss side. So this has the effect of bloodlust. And I can actually save the agent's life, which is really good news. Like this. Actually, no. Two damage petrify on the cat is great, right? Yeah, petrify the cat. Go for it. Absolutely go for it. Knock yourself out. These things are immune to abilities, right? Yeah. I'm about to go. Save one mana. Please no. <laughs> Please no. Not like this. It's not much better. Jeez, that's not any better. Oh, God. Help! Oh, no. Garbage. Just a trash roll. Not much I can do to save the agent here. Mm. 
terrible. It's really quite bad. Now, blue side is getting... Uh, blue character is getting petrified, too. We have to stop that. What's this do? It's bloodlust eliminate. Okay. Yeah, I can't allow per, uh, Petrify 3 on the blue character. We won't be able to finish the boss without uh, Agent or House Cat or Blue Guy. It's just the two reds at that point, and we can't do anything with them. So we need to kill one of these thorns, despite the self-damage that we take. Agent goes. Not much health left on the Wendigo, though. I think we can do this. That's promising. Very promising. That kills the boss. We're good, we're good. We got the boss down. Okay, okay. Sweet. Ought to be enough. Brambles. We killed ten thorns, so now the Bramble monster is unlocked, which adds single use to the hero sides. Heal two per turn, or add pair to all heal sides. Double effect if this has the same pips as the previous dice. Meh. Alright, give the thingy back to the cat. Yeah, one mana for shield, too, is very good value. Kitty? Seems like the kitty's always the one dying, so let's give the cat the self-shield. Everyone is dying. Fair enough. What's this? Five damage, shifter, damage, lucky. What do you mean damage? Damage the target for five. So it does ten? Hold on, I gotta... Yes, it does ten. Okay, cool. We'll definitely lock that side in, then. We roll these. Take this. Three time. Actually, just use this. Pray. Heal and shield one to all dying allies. Keep everybody alive. Do we? Look at Before they lose the poison health. Inflict, inflict death. Add inflict death to your target's sides. <laughs> so you make them add death to you. What on earth keyword is this? What? Why? Why is that a keyword? <laughs> Add pain sounds good. <laughs> inflict, inflict death.
hammer. The hammer strikes again. Wraith or witch? So priestess into wraith. We get some really good mana gain sides. Four damage self heal side. Can trip dodge. Oh my good lord. And the spell is kill an ally, then heal five to other allies. Kill your own ally. Okay, that's a fun spell. What's witch got? We got a boost lucky side. Ooh, that's really good for the. That that's really good that side. And a three mana side. Heal five cleanse is good. One weaken is kind of weak, but still okay. And what's your spell? Heal two for one. Oh, that's almost as good as shield two for one. And I like your sides a lot more than the rouge's sides. Yeah, boost on the quad strike of the agent is ludicrous. Let's go witch here. Weaken is very good against summoning enemies, but it's only weaken one, so it's not that strong. Run? Times three if this form... What does that say? <laughs> Times three if this forms a straight of at length three or more with the dice used before it this turn. <laughs> no. Does not do that. But why so big though? We can kill the spiker. No, I'm one short. I'm one short. Boo. Keep blue alive then. Not even sure that's correct. We got it. Let's freaking go. Yeah, here we see why heal two is worse than shield two, because you can't overheal. Exactly right. Kitty. Good job, Kitty. wasn't so bad. Charge link. Charge and single use to the top and bottom sides. Or plus one pip to all even sides. Oh my. She wait. Apparently I don't have very many of those. Huh. Interesting. Uh, what about top and bottom? Very good on a house cat with a double hit. Actually, no, it's not, because they're single use then. No, it's not. Random it is then. Glass heart. Death is permanent. But plus one pip to all sides. I'll play your game. I will play your game. Maybe put that on witch. That seems really good on witch. Or on Agent. Although Agent seems maybe harder to keep alive. Put on the Witch. More courage than you ever will. Could definitely go badly. Could definitely go badly. Oh, 
basilisks with quad use side is really bad, actually. Hmm. Resilient. Pips remain when the side is replaced. Well, I don't think that saves it from Petrify. Double effect on targets that have not gained shields. Seems good. Oh, that works! Because they're in the back row and therefore not a valid target. Nice. Basalt. The first time I take exactly one damage, double it to two, then increase one to two. Inflict death with 18 damage. Basalt sure might kill someone. We got Shaman or Prophet for the Priestess here. Shaman has a growth side, vitality side, heal 10. And the spell is Ritual. Heal two, cleanse, cleave. Or Prophet has the AoE heal and more vitality heals. I think I like Prophet more. There's more mana gain on this. Although Cleanse might have been nice. Might have been. Yeah, a little loo. Okay, good. Just don't death beam the witch, please. Thank you. <laughs> Anything other than that is fine. Coming a slate. Okay, here's where the weaken is quite nice. We can stop that. Quartzes should be pretty easy to kill. to do that yet. Okay, that's fine. Take one. Now the first time it takes two damage. That gets doubled. I'm gonna do it like this though. And then three gets doubled. Kill the cat if you so wish. Monster Hunter, thanks for the prime sub and the two months of support. Let's see a way to keep the house cat alive, I'm gonna be honest. Seems unlikely. How do I do three damage though? Is that possible? I feel like I can actually do that.
The cat can do three. Well, could do three. Yeah, where was Inflict Pain last turn? Come on. Engage. Weaken again. Good. Oh, here's three damage. Growth. The keyword growth activates for all allies. Wait, hold on. Group growth. Glorious. Glorious. Sushi. Replace the left side with gain two rerolls cantrip. Or add era to all mana gain sides. Hmm. Sushi. Don't mind the more rerolls. Era on this character is also, yeah, pretty good. Douchey cat. I have to give the shelf shield to somebody else, but I'm okay with that. Cats love fish. Sure, be a sushi cat. Giddy. To roll a boost, please. Works too. It doesn't. Not actually, right? No. That does not even keep the cat alive. Bummer. Actually, wait, but if I hit the wisps, it can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. Just get mana from the wisps. That's right, the Banshee will do one damage to all, though. I still think it works if we do this order, right? No. We cannot keep the cat alive. Because of the Banshee. Well, shoot. Rip cat, then, I guess. If I can get three mana by not killing a wisp, we can do it. But then I'm allowing a skeleton to come onto the field. So it has to be like this. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Is that actually a good idea? I'm not sure it is. I guess we want that more. Actually, we want the snipers to keep shooting at the cat. So yeah, it is a good idea. Seems to be getting more overwhelming, though. Do anything this turn. You don't do anything this turn. Spooky. Which 
Witch would love to roll a cleanse side. I'm gonna re-roll the witch. Uh, good luck. That's not good. <laughs> we might be dead here. We are failing to... Yeah, we should have killed two wisps on turn one. This was a total disaster. I believe I let you fools con me into keeping the cat alive. Damn it. Hold that. It's a cat catastrophe. Yes. Blue is being super overkilled, and there's not really much I can do about it. Man, oh, yeah, we should be killing that bones directly. lives, but the mage doesn't. And if we roll badly again, we're going to be dead. If the witch dies, our run is over. Four Cleave is pretty good looking. We can inflict pain on the Banshee, I guess. Let's see what we can do with this real quick. That's not so bad. Yeah, that's not so bad. Everyone's lowish on health, but we get another turn. We can reasonably kill the Banshee this turn, at least. Wish. Riz wish. If both Pristine and Deathwish are true, if you're dying from full health, does more stuff. Hmm, good talk. Lucky you really screwed me there. Am I okay with this side? Yeah, the other sides are pretty bad. Six cleanse, heal five vitality. Kind of need the cat to have cleave here. Okay. That was tough. That was definitely tough. Didn't lose our witch. Three more fights to go. Time for a tier four character. 
Wow, look at the max health on these characters. 16 and 17. So we've got uh, four damage, self heal, four mana, five to all. That's pretty good. And the spell here is eight damage for four mana. That's pretty good. You've got three damage weaken, very strong. Heal 22. <laughs> That's too much healing. Why are you healing 22? Don't heal 22. And one damage focus. Ooh, that's really good. Double effect on the target of the previous dice this turn. But yeah, heal 22 is pretty garbage, gonna be honest. I could go random. Random seems pretty iffy. Take, uh, Rebecca. <laughs> How about a random tier 4 level up? How about we don't? How about we don't? How about that? Oh, I see phonetics. Okay, that's fine. Inflict pain? They already do pain. Everyone is dying, but we're also winning, so is it that bad? Not really. Ugh. Yeah, not really. But it's immune to pain because it's invulnerable. No, pain doesn't stack, unfortunately. But we can just kill you with this. That seems fine. Let's see any way to keep these characters alive, so uh, see you all later, I guess. At least the witch didn't die. <laughs> Good. Is that enough? Oh no, I can't flick. No, it's not enough. Hmm. I want everybody to be half health this sort of next fight. That could be terrible. Roll them both, I guess. What do you mean it's enough? It was enough to live? What? It wasn't. Copy the left side onto the middle row. Wow, that's good. I could make the house cat absurd. Or add copy cat to the top and bottom. Yeah, infinite rolling. Does that actually help me though? Not really. I guess it kind of does, right? I'd rather have just like a row of four mana sides. I could do random tier 9. I think the the cape is plenty good, though. Do this. <laughs> That's all it does, though? No. Okay, what if I do this? That seems... That seems pretty good, right? That seems pretty good. 
Let me make death as permanent for the character with the most health. I like it. Plus three pips this fight after use. Cool. Double attacks are really good on the Hydra. Actually, so are the quad attacks. Let's roll for those. Tactical. Counts twice for tactic costs. Curious. Curious. There we go. Inflict death. Not inflict, inflict death, but inflict death. Which is way better than inflict, inflict death. Cursed bolt. Unlocks the cursed bolt. Interesting. And we get our final level up, another tier four hero. Six mana, that's even better for the thing. Heal 11 W's. Step aside, heal 22. And one damage focus again, oh man, that's great. Or a tier four blue hero with some interesting stuff. We got three mana and trip lucky. Six damage growth, six damage single use cruel, that's strong. Perma boost. And two mana shield seven. Very cool. You're providing the one damage engage currently. Let's go with the blue hero. That cat a hammer. I'm not going to do the cape thing with the rerolls, though. I don't think it's actually going to be enough. Got the inevitable again. Cantrip mana plus infinite rerolls is infinite mana, though. Yeah, it's not actually infinite rerolls, though. It's two out of three chance to gain two rerolls with each roll, which can definitely brick. Can definitely brick. I don't trust it at all. Um, well, what stasis on? To weaken, inflict exerts. I think we still want it on the witch. Incredibly unlikely to brick IMO. Meanwhile, ch other chat members like, actually, it's more than 10% to brick on the first turn. Yeah. 
But no. We got the perma boost. That's pretty good. So I could double weaken the inevitable this turn. That's not bad. Or we could perma boost the agents. Is another good option. I like perma boost on agents. Okay, that's not bad. I want to use the 8 damage spell a lot. Skeletons. Still inflicts pain, well, might as well. Oh, we can cleanse, we can cleanse the weakness. That's pretty good. Or cantrip side. Okay, we got the super fireball. Can't even use it. I see. Try again. Better? Don't really want to do double use exert, huh? Cool. I like that it becomes invincible when it dies as well. Seems uh good. Ran. Okay, bye. We've officially gotten to a two streak on hard. GG. GG to a chat. There we go. Streak at two. Next time we play Slice and Dice, and we're going to have to keep that hard streak going. But for now, Twitch chat. We'll be winding things down. Thank you to the cat. For that gloriousness. By the way, I believe I saw somebody else do this in custom mode. Choose modifiers? No. Whatever lets you choose the custom party. Choose party. Yeah, you can choose multiple house cats. And this makes all of your levels go onto one hero. So you end up with a tier 11 hero, which is, yes, very dumb. Might do that sometime. Um, but for today, Twitch chat, we are winding things down here. About five kitties. Well, then you get no level ups. That seems bad. Seems bad. See you later, Virtual256. 
Annabel words. They tend to lose in the first three fights, I believe it. Akar, Mephesto, MD. Randy B says four, three cats is stronger than four. Makes sense. We are going to be back tomorrow with some more Slay the Spire silent action. Maybe also more Slice and Dice. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do tomorrow. But it's definitely going to involve some games. So I'll catch you then, Twitch chat. Until next time, my friends, stay cozy. And have a good one. Toodaloo, folks.